Why is it loud? Huh? Why? Hold on. Oh my god. I'm glad that one started off like... Easy. Not easy, but like low. Okay. <laughs> that was almost really bad. My BGM was basically turned up 10 times louder than it normally is. So, if I didn't hear that, we would have had a bad time. <sighs> okay. Anyway. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Good night. Combine. What's up? It's me. Sorry, guys. I was almost late to stream. I was too busy listening to Noctix's new second single break free. Oh my god. You know what? I think in three hours, it comes out on, like, Spotify and Apple Music and stuff like that. Oh, man. Isn't that crazy? Stream break free. Let's go. And if you guys were not satisfied, if you guys were like, you know what? There's not enough album in here. There's a cover coming soon. I think I've already talked about this. I'm pretty sure I have. There's a cover coming pretty soon. And, like... Maybe a little over a week, maybe like less than two weeks. Yeah, I had to give you guys more. Not just that, I had to give you guys more. Any hints on the cover? Not yet. Not yet, not yet, but everything is almost done. Is it a solo cover? It is a solo cover. Yes, it is. You guys absolutely nailed the song. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was, we were all like shaking, man. We were all shaking. We were so excited to show you Break Free because it's been stuck in our heads for like weeks. Like some of us actually, I don't know if you guys... Uh, you guys probably didn't catch on to it when we did it, but there have been times we accidentally, like, hummed Break Free on stream. I think, I think I accidentally did it in the Noctis Lethal Company collab, I think. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's been stuck in our heads. 
for a very long time. Um, you really leveled up. We did. We really, really leveled up. Man, I can't believe it. I can't believe Noctis level up is over now. Damn, we put a lot into that series. I, well, we can't really talk too much about behind the scenes stuff, but like, we put a lot of time and effort and planning and resources into it, including the song and all the merch and everything. I'm just glad we got to make the anniversary special for you guys. Yeah, I'm just glad we had the opportunity to to do something, you know, out of the ordinary. Yeah, I hope you guys like everything. I hope you guys enjoy the merch and the, the song and the program. It's going to be still up. Um... What else? What else? What else? What else? Um, yes, we are at the second main game in your turn to die, actually. We are about to start. And I've heard... My eyes will not be dry when we play this. I've... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but... Yeah, I've heard my eyes will not be dry. Oh, I am ready? I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for pain. How long is this chat? I think someone said the second main game is like three or four hours long. Hidani! Let me see here. I'm listening to Break Free right after work, and it's so amazing. So proud of you guys. So happy to be here and be able to see y'all leveling up in these two years. Thank you for all the hard work and everything. Love knock dicks. Gotta level up my wallet for the merch too. <laughs> thank you, Hidani. I appreciate it. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. And thank you for the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Your turn to cry. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you know what else too? Oh my god, later. The stream that's like, what is it, like 15 hours later? We finally start Persona 3 Reload. It's been a while since I've played like an actual JRPG. It's been, it's been a pretty long time. So I'm excited to get invested and start pumping out a bunch of 10, 12 hour streams. <laughs> oh God. I... I, I'm it's it's turning into this arc. Oh God, this is the Albin arc where I start pumping out my 12-hour JRPG streams. Oh boy. <sighs> Hell yeah, 100 hours of Persona. Okay, so if I play 12 hours every stream and let's say Persona overall is like a hundred hours. That's like that's like eight-ish streams. That's not bad. Eight 12-hour streams. That's not bad. That's okay. That's not bad. <laughs> I'm excited though. The last time I played Persona 3 was a really long time ago. So yeah, I'm excited. Alicad, happy two years, Noctix, and congrats on the Break Free MV launch. I hope you guys like the MV too. Oh my god. <gasps> when I first saw the MV, I was so blown away. I was so excited. So happy and proud of you all. Each one of you signed in the single. It's so amazing. Now on my unlimited loop. Thank you. Also, thank you guys for all the memberships today, by the way. I saw there were a lot before the stream started. Thank you. The visuals are so awesome. Hell yeah. Hold on, let me turn my music down little bit. Wait, it's not turning down. Oh, it is. It is? Question mark? Question mark. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're good. Uh, I can, I can stay like that. The Envy is at 100k already. That's crazy! 
That is actually insane. You know what else I realized? I realized that for the two-year anniversary art, a lot of people are paying special attention to my neck. Why? Why is why are people obsessed with my neck? I'm seeing I'm seeing a lot of people take pictures of it and saying Alvin is serving C word. What does that mean? People are saying Alvin is serving C word. Neck. Yeah, neck. Choker. Alvin is serving choker. Oh, really? Oh, my neck looks good. It looks beautiful and delicious. What? My what? What? I've never heard someone call my neck beautiful and delicious. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Just think of it like when you saw Soul's neck for the first time. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I get it now. Okay, I understand. I just needed a point of reference. <laughs> it's that damn choker. Guys, what if I had an outfit with a choker? Would you guys put a leash on me? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um. Um. Anyway. <sighs> Let me see here. Uh, um, Peko, Peko Tan says, uh, Shinkyoku, Hontoni, Yokata, Noctix no member de ite kretariato. Oh, Alvin Knox de ite kretariato. I, I, bla, ite janakte, ite. Alvin Knox de ite kretariato. いつも愛をたくさんもらってるから宝立ちからもたくさんの愛をもらってねありがとうペコタン <laughs> Thank you Aww. They said thank you for being a member of Noctix Thank you for being Alban Nox Thank you for giving us all a lot of love Please receive our love as well Aww. That's really cute actually Paradox! Never rest in peace. I gotta live, not just survive. Yeah, I will never rest in peace. I gotta live, not just survive. Thank you. Yuling! Break free is so good. You sound amazing. I can't stop listening to it over and over again, especially the sexy part. I'm at a loss for words to just convey how awesome it is. I love your singing so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You'll get more of it soon. Very soon, actually. Thank you. Uh uh uh. Noctic Psycho, Arupan Psycho. Let me see here. Uh, Noctic, Nishi Ne, Omerito. Break free, Taksan Kiter. Otomadachi ni mo mecha mecha jimashita. Ariato. Kutsu mo kai sagita. Aruban, Noctic mo Aruban mo. Thank you. Oh, Sneak, thank you for the super chat earlier, too. Try Veggie Day? <laughs> Maybe not today. LV, happy nya nya nya. Oh, yes. Is this still Cat Day? Oh, yeah, today is still Cat Day. Shit. Hold on. I forgot. I forgot today is still cat day. Hold on. I don't think I've ever used the cat ears with this outfit. Is it is this gonna work? Hold on. 
I'm cooking. Wait a second. Cho tomate. Oh, is this gonna work? Oh, it's not, is it? Because... Because, uh... Shit. Hold on. I know exactly what to do. If I do this... And then... Oh my god, I think I'm a genius. I Yeah, you know what? I've never used the cat ears with this outfit. I'm kind of... Excited. Is this gonna work? How do I do this? Hold on. Give me one second. I have like no point of reference. <sighs> wait. Wait, wait, wait. I'm cooking. Give me a second. I'm cooking. Like this? Think me. Uh, uh, uh. Hold on. I'm still cooking. Give me a second. It's more like this. <clears throat> oh! Oh my god, I think I got it. Oh, this is interesting. I've never. I've never done it with this outfit. Hold on. I'm just making sure my positioning isn't like weird. If I do like this, is it better? Ah! Maybe. Ah, it's a little better. What if I do like this? Ah, that's not bad either. Maybe I will do like this. Hold on. Sorry, I'm taking a second. Why are you being weird? Stop. Like this? Hold on. I will do this for the sake of cat day. Okay, I think I got it. I think. Kind of? Ugh. All right, fine. This is as good as it's gonna get. Hold on. I have to recenter myself. Like this. <laughs> hey. What's up? I fixed it, I think. There we go. Now we're all better. I think. This is the first time I'm using the ears with my, uh, my other hairstyle. I hope you guys like it. <clears throat> I like, you know what? I actually like the ears with this hairstyle too. It's, it's interesting actually. <laughs> Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty good. Looks perfect. Smile for the camera. Okay. There we go. I smiled. There's my smile. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing this especially for Cat Day. Happy Cat Day. Happy Noctix Day. Where's the wink? <laughs> there you go. There's the wink. <clears throat> but yeah, LV! Happy Cat Day and Happy Noctix Day! Um, excited for the cover, love Break Free so much, and I've been loving the Your Turn to Die streams too! Have a great day! Thank you! Hope you have a great day too! Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> Let's see here. All right, I'll read a few more super chats and then we'll get into your turn to die. Mota, Mota says, "Happy second anniversary. 
I'm stuck in break free. For real, for real. Uh, あ、届くのが楽しみ。明日オンリーショップにも行くからアルバンのパネルも見てくる、見てくるね。Uh, let me see here. This is 3年目? 3、3年目とも。3年目の アルバムもノックティクスも大好きだよ。ありがとう。Thank says congrats with the second anniversary. The break free is really amazing. When I listened to the song, especially when I saw the art, it made me think about Shonen Anime OP! Noctix did, did so nice, I loved it. Wouldn't that be crazy? What if one of the anime coming out in the future... What if the studio reaches out to us and is like... Hey, we want to use this song for our opening. Wouldn't that be crazy? That would be crazy. <sighs> well, we can dream. We'll see. We can dream, but that would be interesting. I would watch 100%. It's a good solo leveling OP. Yeah, you know what? That's hmm, that, that's a pretty good point. One of my followers was saying Haikyuu Season 5. <laughs> that's interesting. That's interesting. Oh, man. Thank you, Zom. Thank you for the super chat. Let me see here. Kanzume says, Alban, hi, Shon, Tsukare Sama desu. Noctix, 2 shunen, omede to gozaimasu. Shinkyoku mo totemo kako yokute. Nando mo kiite masu. Kore karo mo oin shite masu. Arigato, Kanzume. Thank you. I would never skip it if it was an opening. <laughs> Patricia, I don't even have to ask if you've eaten yet, because you ate with Noctix's break free. Sheesh. Can't stop listening, so proud of you. Thank you, and happy two years. Go, Catboy, go! Hell yeah! Let's aim for another 20 years. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Patricia. Snee! I really, really love your new song. Big love. Thank you! Thank you, thank you. Isa, congrats on the song release! I'm so proud of you! Thank you for all the happy memories these past couple of years. Can't wait to make even more. Thank you. What did you guys think about the rap part? Did you guys like the uh, the subtly intentional pairing? I hope you guys like that. <laughs> um, Iri, 改めて Noctix 2周年おめでとう. Noctix のメンバーに出会えて毎日が幸せ、幸せだよ。グッズもたくさん。ようやく親しみ。新曲本当にみんな格好良すぎ。アルバンのセクシーボイスでとっても助かる。これからもずっと応援して続けるよ。ハグハグありがとう。アイリー、<笑> Hattori says, Break free, so good. Happy two years. Thank you. Thank you, Hattori. Reishi, happy second uh, year Noctix. Thank you so much for the amazing MV and all and the goods. We may be broke, but we're happily broke. <laughs> thank you, Reishi. Thank you, thank you. Nine, Nan says, Kawai sugiru. Uchi no neko ni naranai. <laughs> Thank you, Nun. Um, I hope you guys like the necklace when you guys get them. The necklaces are really, really cute, in my opinion. They're perfect for Takaradachi. I have candy and chocolate. Want some? Yes. <laughs> Anna, 
あさあ新曲聴いたよアルバムのパートかっこよかったし曲もすっ曲,曲もあわい曲も良すぎて泣いたこれからも応援してますありがとう Thank you 応援してくれてありがとう Thank you Thank you Thank you あああリンゴリンゴ says happy to your anniversary 新曲最高にかっこよくてずっと聴いてるアルベニアン助かる Um, what is this? Mi, 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 ソンシートトートシー ?Am I crazy? Wait. ソンソンシーソンシーって何これスランクかなトートートシートートシーとうとうとうしそんそえー、そんしとうとうしあ、too precious and die あおやっぱりスラングかあーなるほどあーなるほどなるほどああ、新しいスラング教えてくれたりやった !Thank you!Wow, I didn't know that! はなるほど。はかってとこと。あっ<笑>とうとうし。OK! なるほど。なるほど、なるほど。なるほど OK。リンゴありがとう !Thank you! ペコタンセイズマジで結婚してくれ<笑>まあ今今今結婚できないよ宝たちが今見ているから結婚できないよ<笑>それ<笑>なんだそれ<笑>急にいっぱい指輪が出た<笑>もしかしてみんなもう僕と結婚したいの<笑>ペコタンスパッチありがとう。当たり前やろ<笑> Let me see. おとうせいす2周年おめでとうございますあアルバンに出会えてとっても幸せですおありがとう Thank you <笑> Let me see here. よぞら Congratulations on your second anniversary The new song was really cool なくて最高 Big love. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. チョコはノクティクス2周年おめでとうございます。エンビも全部かっこよかった。あアルバンの歌声本当に好きすぎる。<笑>アルバンもグッズも全部買ったぞ。アルバンのグアルバンも<笑>アルバンのグッズも全部買ったぞ。ありがとう。そして猫の日、アルバンの日。かわいい、キャットボーイ<笑>あー。なでなでさせてください。これからもアルバン、そしてノクテクスを応援しています。大好きだ。ありがとう、Thank you! チョコは
Rebecca, thank you for the 20 gifted memberships. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. What the heck? Thank you. Uh, let me see here. Hachiwashi. Wait, Hachiwashi Hachi. Noctix, Nishina, Yamadito Kozaimasu. Shinkyoku, Sugoku, Kakuyokata des. Noctix, level up more. My guy, Tanoshima set the Moraimasta. Aratamite, Yamadito Kozaimasu. Ariato, thank you. Mia, happy two year. Happy Nya Nya Day. <laughs> thank you, Mia. Thank you, thank you. I ordered the necklace and acrylic stand as soon as I dropped. I'm so excited. Thank you, Marsh. Thank you. Uh, uh, uh. Now it says, <clears throat> Happy Nyan 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 Day. Happy Nyak Dicks Day. You're really cute. And break free is really cool too. Goods mo ippai katta kara todoku no tanoshimi. Also, let's more your turn to die. Protect Gin. Yes, we have to protect Gin. Thank you now. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Rebecca, congrats on Octic's two-year anniversary. Thanks, Alvin, for always being here. No, thank you. And everyone else here, too. Thank you for being here for the past two years. I can't even believe it's been two years. I just... I, it still has not processed for me that it's been two years. It's so, so crazy. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you. Christina, happy second anniversary. Happy Nyanya Day. Break free is so amazing. The MV is so cool. Thank you for the hard work. Can't wait to receive the merch, especially your necklace and hoodie. Thank you for getting them. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them. Thank you so, so, so much, Christina. Thank you. Let's see here. Marine. Marine says... Noctix, two years. Thank you so much. I've been listening to the song かっこよすぎてやばい。グッズも届くの楽しみ。アルバン君のぬいぐるみと一緒にお出かけできるの楽しみだよ。ありがとう。これからもいっぱい応援します。ノックティクスもアルバン君も大好き。いつもありがとう
セクシーボンありがとう,うん助かりましたグッズも買ったよベッドにあるバンのぬいをたくさん並べて寝ますおおかわいいありがとう楽しみこれからもずっとそばで応援させてください大大大好き大好き<笑>ありがとうちいちゃん Thank you ゆっこー !Happy two year anniversary! ノクティクス新曲最高だったこれからも応援しますありがとう !Thank you! ゆっこー<笑>ありがとう、um, ジョアン !Happy second anniversary! Break free is so good! Looking forward to more n o c t i x group songs. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you very, very much for the support. Bum, bum, bum. Iroha! Nishune, o m e r t o Shinkyoku, m e c h a m e c h a k a k o k a t a a r b a n o o e n d e k i t e s u g o k u s h a w a s e d a y o Big love! a r i g a t o Iroha! Big, big, big love! Where's my music? There it is! Mm. Uh, Migiwame! Migiwame says, Happy second anniversary! Noctix, Saiko! Arman, Saiko! Shinkyoku no sexy fan mo steki de sta! Tenchon no tagoe de no kuhato しました Ariato, Kurikara mo big love! Oh, big, big, big love! Migiwame, Ariato! Thank you! Yuling, happy second anniversary and happy Nyanya Day! Neko Mimi Taskaru, I think it's my turn to die. Oh my god, because of the cuteness. <laughs> Thank you. Let me see here. Shiozake! Noctix, 2 years ago, I'm Break free, I'm so happy. 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 Koi a l b u m Daisuke, big big love. Oh, <laughs> Ariato, big 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 love. Uh, 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 頭から曲が離れ離れなくなっちゃったアルバンくんを応援するようになってからたくさんの幸せをもらってるよ本当にありがとう大好きだよありがとう Thank you ゆっちゃんありがとう<咳>ミントノクティクス2周年おめでとうございますケーキを食べながら配信見てます。おお、ありがとう。あの、アルバンに出会って会えて、ノクティクスに出会えて、毎日が幸せです。これからもずっと応援するね。グッズ買って、早く届かないかなってなって、もう待ち遠しい。<笑>わらわら<笑>。ありがとう、ミント。Thank you. <clears throat> um, Miyuki says, Noctix, two years ago, I'm going to sing you a good song. 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 Um, Ipo, Epo, Nishune, Omedato Kozaimas, Break Free. Wait, Break Free. Sight, wait, what the hell? No, wait, my Rudikai kun is blocking my. <laughs> Why? Why are you blocking my. Okay, there, I fixed it. Uh, Break Free, Saiko Sukite, Namida, Detekita. Your let's go at the last of Sunny's rap part is so good. I love it. Thank you for the hard work. Big love. Aw, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Aw. <laughs>、uh, Zoe, happy second anniversary. Sorry I'm late today. Break free is perfect. 
fills me with energy. I'm so proud of you guys. And happy Nya Day, little Meow Meow. <laughs> Thank you, Zoe. Thank you. Kokonoki! Nishune, Amareta! Big, big love. Arigato. Thank you. Big, big love. Uh, uh, uh. Yoko! Congrats on Noctic's second wedding anniversary. <laughs> I mean, Noctic's second anniversary. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Yoko. Thank you. Oh my god, not the wedding. Oh no. <laughs> Hachu! Noctic's happy second anniversary. Uh, break free. Minna saiko datta. Tento no utagoe ga kokuyo sugite. Haka. グッズも全部ようやくしてきたよ。ありがとう。いつかパーカーを着てネックレスをつけて店長に会いに行くのが私の夢です。おお、可愛い。これも一生応援します。これからも一生応援します。大好き。ありがとう。天気はつ。おお
ドキドキワクワクドキドキドキドキワクワクピョンピョンピョンピョンピョンピョンピョンピョンピョンピョンピョンピョンピョンピョンピョン Alright I think we are all good Ace thank you I'm glad you like this song and thank you for the congratulations. Thank you, thank you. All right. Is it our turn to die? Maybe. Well, we're young. Thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you, thank you. Oh, God. Why did I leave off here? Oh, God. It's our turn to cry. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Arigato, Momoji. Ippai onen shimasu. Big love. Arigato, big, big, big love. Arigato, Momoji. So Aya, thank you for the gifted membership. <sighs> okay, here we go. <laughs> I hate him already. <clears throat> well then, allow me to explain the rules of the main game. The basic rules are that one person to be sacrificed will be chosen by majority vote. <clears throat> the vote will be split into two parts. Through the first round, the preliminary vote... Half the total will be chosen as candidates. As there are eight presently alive, this would be four. A final vote will be held using these, defending, deciding the ultimate victim. In other words, the sacrifice is decided by narrowing down from eight to four to one. Of importance are the four roles. First is the commoner. This is a normal role, which has no powers. The second is the key master. As one would expect, they hold the key. If chosen as the victim, all will perish. That is so great. Haha, <laughs> not great. The third is the sage. By the power of holy divination, they can know who the key master is. The fourth is the sacrifice. This is a card of reversals, which lets the owner live only if they are chosen as the victim. But meanwhile, if not chosen, they will die. So it is also an accursed card. Oh. Great. In exchange, the sacrifice can vote twice. And if they win, they can escape together with one person of their choice. Incidentally, in the event that multiple people are tied for first, if the sacrifice is in the tie, the sacrifice wins. If the key master is in the tie, all perish. If both the sacrifice and the key master are tied for first, the key master takes priority and all perish. The distribution is one key master, sage, and sacrifice. All others are commoners. Best of luck, and may you avoid total destruction at all costs. That goes without saying. Well, everyone, please wait for the game to beg. <laughs> eh? What? Hey, Gashu! Miley? Gashu, are you listening? You've really gone and mucked things up. You made a flagrant transgression. One that shakes the very core of the main game. Are you trying to appropriate the main game for yourself? Apologies for the video malfunction. The main game will now begin. Please enter, everyone. What is happening? What just happened there? Okay. Before me are strange, familiar desks. You're here. Oh, God. 
God, why is he so... Mm. You're early, KG. Well, what was that earlier, Meow? Gosh, you, what's going on? Explain yourself. Kinda feels like this won't be a normal main game. It's... starting all over again. Oh my, what a bustling crowd. Did you call for me? You! What's this transgression Miley mentioned? Transgression? I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. Don't tell me it's about the wallet. Huh? That reaction seems to indicate it's not. Understand that if there is truly a transgression, it should become clear in your discussion. Supposing one is discovered, it will be addressed. <laughs> yeah, right, jackass! It's you who's gonna decide what counts as a transgression, isn't it? Call in Miley, call in Saffalin. Oh shit, wait, I have to move my, uh, hold on. Shh. Call in Miley, call in Saffalin. I think I should call in Saffalin, right? I think. Or, should we call, wait, what, okay, hold on. What if we call in Miley and they start fighting and we get an extra day? I think that sounds pretty good, I think. Okay, I'm, I'll call in Miley. At least call Miley so she can hand down a judgment on any misconduct. Miley is the floor master for floors one and two. I cannot do that. Then call Saffalin. Damn it! I should have done that first! Very well, if that will satisfy you. Please, be our impartial judge. <laughs> what are you laughing at, asshole? I am joyful. Such determination to have a fair slaughter without having to worry over misconduct. You goddamn. Now then, let the second main game. Hang on! What the fuck? Oh, wow! He made it! Oh, very good! Everyone has assembled. D damn it! So it's starting after all! Indeed, we have talked long enough. Now we shall begin the second main game. Great. Candidate vote. Oh, God. <laughs> An extremely heavy air dominates the space. Oh, my God. It's starting again. This horrifying game. <clears throat> Keeping quiet's only gonna, only making time pass, guys. Let's at least decide our own, our fate by our own hand, okay? Uh, it's okay. We've walked this road before, haven't we? <laughs> then and now, it's totally different! We're allies by now! We've spent way more time together! Then will you die? <laughs> Let's find a resolve. You said that in the first main game, right, Kutaro? Damn it! Everyone, the card designs have been displayed in the rulebook this time. So be aware that you cannot judge using knowledge of the designs as in the first main game. Well then, please spend this cruel and dense time to your heart's content. Gashu quietly sat down in a chair. And once again, the main game began. I don't want to do it! <laughs> I don't want to play the main game. <laughs> ah. 
First, let's discuss to get the four candidates. Who should survive and who can die? Okie dokie. Seems you're ready. Hold up, KG! Unlike last time, there's been a bunch of card trades. If we logic it out, I'm sure we can figure out who has the sacrifice and key master without going around suspecting each other. <gasps> oh no, I have the commoner. Okay, phew. If everyone speaks honestly. Would they lie? At the very least, the sacrifice can't tell the truth, now can they? So it's fine to start with finding four candidates. Uh-huh. Because those who aren't candidates can candidates can be honest. Yep, and also, if we prove what everyone's cards are right now, voting is gonna be how. It'll be pure blame throwing. That guy should die, this guy should die. It'll be cruel. And leave no trace of any bonds we've got. Didn't Cage give you the Keymaster card? <clears throat> well, he did, and then toward the like before the main game started, someone traded us the sacrifice card, and then it got switched out with a commoner card. It'll be cruel. And leave no trace of any bonds we've got. Fine, I get it. I'm on board, KG. And so, I'm gonna say it. So, you're the most suspicious in my book. Oh, oh shit! Ah, oh, what, dude? I love Reiko so much. Huh? Wait, Reiko! So contributed so much to our escape. I know that, but then who do I vote for? Huh? Well, we can vote for you. <laughs> All right, everyone, just vote for Kanna. That makes this easier. I can't possibly choose anyone else. If I'm gonna vote, it's gotta be for Soul. This is how I really feel. So get a grip, be honest, and clear our doubts. Seems I just don't click with people who speak from emotion. Shut up! I'm telling you, say what you really... Then I'm fine being the first candidate. Oh, shit. What? After all, I... Uh? What? Am the sacrifice. Huh? Were you even listening to us? This ain't the time to say your role. Was there a rule against confessing your own? So I see. Sorry, Casey. I just didn't feel comfy letting you take the initiative. I know. I'll nominate the next suspicious person. How about that? And he's gonna... I already know this... I... God! I hate you so much! I hate you! He's gonna say me. He's got some no good idea again. Agree with soul or oppose soul? Okay, you know what? Why not? I can't save. Fuck. Why not? Whatever. Understood. If it'll advance the if it'll advance the discussion, go ahead. You're so calm, Miss Sarah. I nominate. Ka what? 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 Is this actually reverse psychology? Like, is he trying to get him and Kanna in the last candidate so he can manipulate it? Because he is the sacrifice? No. You know what? I know what his plan is. He gave the sacrifice card to Kanna. He's going to make everyone jump onto Kanna. And Kanna is going to pick Soul to escape. That's... I think that's his plan. Huh? Bastard. Now what are you saying? 
everyone should already understand this. She's easily tricked, timid, and lacks ability. What does she even have besides sympathy? Yeah, okay. Based? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. That's exactly what this is. Kanna is the sacrifice, actually. He's getting us to try to jump onto her. Got it. <laughs> Shut the hell up! Ain't it you who used her? After using her so cruelly, is Soul trying to betray her? So, you're giving Kun the time to vindicate herself. Huh? Sure thing. Let's have a discussion about Kanna's actions during the death game. So that we can trust her. Oh, or that too. Shit! Kanna. At first, she just holed up in Soul's room. They've generally acted together. Soul should be the one who can prove her worth, dammit. Let's see. Kanna was dead weight the whole time. What a hindrance. Hindrance? Uh, Kanna looks like she's pretty shocked to hear that. I couldn't blame her. I'm sure you understand, Sarah. You can extract statements from them. And also, you've got a new weapon, too. <laughs> huh? You know, from when we were searching together, your shrewd detective vision. Oh, shit! When someone makes a statement, you might notice someone else having a reaction. I can do that? I have sexy detective eyes! Sheesh! Now let's get to it, partner. I li I, I, I like... I, I like when he calls me that. I mean, focus. Focus, focus, focus. <clears throat> focus. Okay. Focus. Kana is very clearly shocked. First she holed up in Soul's room. Oh, oh, I saw that! Ah, I see it! Kana was dead with the whole time. What a hindrance. Oh, shit. They generally acted together, so should be the one to prove her worth. Okay, I think... That is so cool! Oh my god, I love that! Kanna isn't a hindrance. I've been getting fed up with having a useless helper, too. Just now, I felt like first uh, Soul's first statement caused someone's expression to change. While their expressions changed, I should check on them. Oh, that's how it works! Kanna, are you too shocked to speak? But it seems like she's trying to say something. In that case, I just have to inspire Kanna's heart. Oh, Undertale. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Come on! How many times do I have to- There we go. Dum dum. My eyes? I know, me too. I'm sorry. Kanna, are you fine with him just saying that? That's... It's fine. You can get mad. Let what's in your heart come right out. Kanna... Kanna... Isn't a hindrance at all! Oh shit, she's mad. Soul's just saying mean things just because he can do hacking, but... Wasn't Kanna the one who did the... Hacking... First? Are you like a prodigy hacker? This whole time? This whole time? Eh? Uh. Ha! Even so, it's like, wow, I really wish you didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Hold your horses. How do you mean that? Uh, um. Kanda did hacking? <sighs> you never make yourself clear. <laughs> Please, tell us about this a little more in detail. Okay. So she's a hacker? Kanda did some hacking way before Sol did any of his hacking. Uh, what kind of hacking was it? I figured out a password. Breaking into someone else's things, that's called hacking, right? Oh, okay, never mind. She's just... Okay, no, she's... Okay, that's not hacking. No, she guessed a password. That's not hacking. Does this mean Kanna's adept with computers, too? You can't call something like that hacking. Don't misuse words you only just learned. All right, Sarah, let's advance the discussion like this. Yes. Extract statements to expand the discussion. Present items to use them as evidence or have statements duke it out to find discrepancies. I can't believe she said she hacked a computer when she only guessed a password. Wait, does that mean she guessed the password on the laptop? I wonder if she put in uh, Sarah's name. Figured out a password. So had been fretting about it since yesterday. He was going, I don't know the password, taking his beanie off and putting it back on. Suddenly, I looked at Sol's hands and was struck by how clean he kept them, even in these circumstances. And then I had an epiphany. There might be traces from the password being typed. So I figured out the password from finger marks left on the keys. I extracted a new statement. It's really concerning. We don't have much time for discussion. And how about you explain everything yourself, Sol? <laughs> I am explaining. Explaining what a useless girl Kanna is. <laughs> Don't talk about people like tools, goddammit. <laughs> I heard they taught programming in middle school now, but to think they even teach hacking, they don't. I'm pretty sure they don't. But what password could it have been? And when I heard that, I could only think of the password to start up the laptop. It was probably my name. So that means... Tablet, stun gun, footage... Okay, I think there's nothing here. I'm pretty sure... Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So it's gonna be this and this one, right? Um, Kanna, could it be that you didn't use the laptop to hack, but rather you solved the password for the laptop itself? Yes. I see. Before the laptop was handed to Seoul, I was the last one to enter the password. What? Your hands must be really greasy for someone to see the grease marks of the password. What the fuck? And my fingers left marks. Little bits of dirt from when I pressed the keys. Are your hands that dirty? Ew, that's so gross. What? Normally... What? Huh, <laughs> okay. Alright, Sarah, greasy hands. When did you solve the password? It was before the trading phase had begun. <laughs> Wait, that was... the third day. Hold on a sec! <laughs> Don't you think that sounds funny, Sarah? Before the training phase begun? What did I get the laptop? If it was before the trading phase, which was the last day,
Wait. If they figured out the password and the trading phase started, that's when they started to ask us to recon reconcile with the, the laptop, right? Okay, yeah, that is weird because why would they ask us to reconcile for the password if they already knew the password, right? That's, that is, that's, that's weird. It is weird. And that it does. It's unusual. Because we thought Soul shared the laptop so he could learn the password from us. But according to you, you peeked inside before sharing the laptop with everybody. Yes. Then there was no reason to join forces! That's wrong! Soul wanted an opportunity to reconcile with everyone. Kanna? Sorry to say, but there was another reason. Why did Soul share the laptop with us? To view the Sarah folder! He didn't want to fucking reconcile. He awakened to goodness. Pfft. Yeah, right. To look in the Sarah folder on the laptop. Yep, that's gotta be it. The Sarah folder had a separate password, which was the name of Sarah's mother. You gotta be kidding! So, you accepted my deal without saying nothing about this? You... You're what? Kyutaro, you didn't just hand the laptop to Kanna, did you? You made a deal with Kanna and Soul to give them the laptop, you fucker. Huh? <laughs> what of it? Why, you... Hold on a second, what deal is this? <laughs> Don't sweat it. It's just between us, yeah, between the fucking three stooges. I don't think so. I thought it was strange from the get-go. Why Kyutaro would give the laptop to Kanna for no reason? Yeah, I always thought so too. But it seems there was a deal going on behind the sharing of the laptop. I'll have you tell us everything. About this suspicious deal. I went to Seoul and asked him to share the laptop. I was surprised. Kyutaro said he would give me his tokens in exchange. The two talked to each other, separated by Seoul's bedroom door. Kanna heard it too. What? I didn't intend to hear him out, but Kyutaro was so serious I just couldn't turn him down. And it turned out to be a good trade. Don't give me that scary look. You benefited from getting to see the laptop for free, right, Miss Sarah? I mean, I had a responsibility, you know. Oh, be you fucked up the first time by giving Kanna the laptop, and then you went to Seoul and wanted the la- Okay, it makes a little more sense now, but it's still- mm. When the token gathering subgame started, I- I gathered more tokens than anybody to survive. Even the laptop I've managed to get my hands on. I handed it over in exchange for Soul's tokens. Are you serious? That's why you gave it to Kanna? You traded the laptop for tokens? Oh. What an asshole. I was possessed by the need for tokens back then, you hear? Is that really the only reason? <laughs> Obviously. Think Soul blackmailed me or something? There ain't nothing. Okay, well, you just misspoke here. Blackmail? Is there really nothing? Uh, Soul said that's not a bad deal, and then he also said maybe we'll reconcile, so Kanna got really happy. Kanna still believes in the goodness in Seoul. Uh, blackmail. All right, do we have proof of blackmail? Yeah, we fucking do. This is it. Kyutaro, was there really no opportunity for blackmail? 
What you saying? We acquired a certain video. Footage from the first floor security cameras. I didn't know there was such a thing. It was all clearly pictured. Kyutaro placing the roll cards. And so seeing him do it. If this isn't blackmail material, what is? No way. Kyutaro was the one who placed the cards? Muscle Gorilla was a traitor, Meow? A traitor? Is that really the case? Or was there some other circumstance? Ironically, it's because of my improved intuition that I don't understand. How could someone like Kyutaro be a traitor? Why'd you do a thing like that? Where'd you get the cards, Kyutaro? Please say something, Kyutaro. Oh, he's evil now. Oh, he's evil now. Security cameras. What do you mean? Huh? We should have searched every inch of the first floor. Did anybody find any security camera? Look at his! I hate you! Why? Why are you sexy too? I mean, stupid! Why are you stupid too? Sex stupid? <sighs> Fuck. Did anybody find any security cameras? I mean... We found them. The footage is proof. Whether we discovered any cameras isn't what, what's important here. You were caught on camera. That's the only proof we need. Must be a puppet show. Dude, all these new Qtaro sprites... ...are making me very unwise right now. <laughs> what the fuck? He looks so evil right now! <laughs> if you think about it, we've been getting tricked left and right. A fake Reiko, a fake Mishima AI. The kidnappers can move around fakes of us whenever and however they'd like. You mean... Looks like you got tricked, Sarah. Ah, uh, or you're the one making up bullshit. Screwed by the kidnappers, actors, our fakes. You fell for a fake movie put on by dolls. I don't know what you guys saw. But it was all a trap, I tell ya. Learn your lesson. You're so fucking annoying now. But... Talk about a disadvantage. Preparing fakes to trick us with was a subtle move by our enemies, huh? And can't take Qtara lightly either. Looks like you've been talked down for once, Miss Sarah. Anyway, I told you about the deal between me and Sol. And I mean, after we all looked at the laptop, I was passed out the whole time. There's gotta be somebody more suspicious than me. No, something is weird here. Double down or give up? No, some, something is weird. Hold on. Why did you pass that in the room of rubble in the first place, Kutaro? Well, I don't remember. No way. It's true. Got no memory from the moment I entered that room. When I woke up, it was the main game. Now that's a rude awakening. So surely someone else knocked him out. And then we should find who did it, Meow. They've gotta be a villain, Wolf. The last time I saw Kutaro healthy, wasn't it when we were looking at the laptop? Then, after the sacrifice was passed to me, I started to panic and 
ran off to get tokens. Right, I didn't see Kyutaro after that. If I can determine everyone's actions at the time. Alright, then we gotta talk about what each of us was doing then. When we shared the laptop, there were six of us in the lobby. Me, Sol, Kanna, Sarah, Keiji, and Leiko. You know what? I don't know why, but for some reason... I just remembered that I should probably make a playlist for Your Turn to Die, since it's a long series. <laughs> I'll do that after this stream. After Sarah suddenly took off running, we stayed and looked at the laptop, but there wasn't much else. After we were done looking at it, Kanna went to deliver the laptop to Sol. Your friendly policeman stayed in the lobby for a little while. I wasn't feeling well and ran to the bathroom. I talked with Miss Now on the way back. Right, I talked with Sol about our plan to hack the fake Professor Mishima. I was searching the pitch black first floor, meow. Hmm? So Kanna, Sarah, Keiji, and Deku. Hmm. After the sound of the trade and you leaving, Sarah, I went back to do searching too. After talking to Keiji in the lobby, I went to the room of rubble and lost consciousness. I want to say I couldn't move all of a sudden and bump my head on a wall, but... People came by the lobby now and then so I can verify their alibis. Sorry. I'm not drooling. Okay. I'm okay. He's kind of in high spirits. So I was talking with now in the ruined corridor. About what? Sorry, Kanna just gave us all the laptop and left right away, so... She was worried about Sarah, so Kanna went looking around for her alone. After we were done talking, we sort of split up. We went searching here and there. I don't have a whole ass alibi or nothing, but I ain't the culprit. I think it's because the plan went well that our escape plan could progress. So it was really dependable then. Go back to the third floor, but there was a nuisance in the way. <laughs> The laughing doll Sue Miley. It was scary, woof. So Gideon was on the first floor until I reunited with him in the room of lies. Okay. Where is the lie? Should I use this here? Do I? Hmm? I, I guess I can try. <laughs> nope. Damn it. How did Ging come back to the third floor? I thought. I thought. Oh, did I miss an extract? Wait, did I? Oh! I did! Specifically, we talked about our hacking plan. Kanna came to deliver the laptop during our chat. I thought about having Kanna join the plan, but she promptly went off somewhere else. Pretty amazing it could knock out Kutaro. Stun guns are dangerous stuff. What?! How do you know?! Huh? This is it! How do you know about that? You know the weapon used well, Sol. Huh? I quietly took the stun gun from the scene. So only Gin and I knew that Kyutaro was attacked with a stun gun. The only other person who could know 
is the culprit. So that settles it. It was you who used the stun gun, st stun gun, stun gun to knock out Kutaro. Damn it! So I give. Oh, I give. You found me out so easily. <laughs> Why does this seem something? Doesn't seem right here. Yeah, imagine a skunk gun. Oh shit, that would knock me out. So, sorry, I didn't want anyone getting in the way of the hacking plan we were preparing. When he suddenly entered the room, I went and used it without even thinking. Where'd you find a dangerous thing like that, Meow? Ah, uh, can't seem to recall. Meow. Something feels off. You really have to pay out your wit's end to use a single-use stun gun. Was there more going on between Kyutaro and Sol? That's enough. Just knowing who the culprit was is enough. I can't... Might be pointless to push any further. Sol's got no intention of explaining himself. For now, we should spare time for someone else. If we're going to suspect each other, we have to do it now while we have the time, huh? Even if it's hard to say, we have to say it. You mean... Doubting so we can trust Meow? That's right. Be brave and talk, everybody. Let's discuss if there's anyone besides So who acted suspicious. Uh, Kanna... Um... Kyutaro, okay, the three stooges, basically. Kanna, Kyutaro, Sol, and... Honestly, I'm kind of tired of Nao's shit, so I think those four should go into the... the... the potential sacrifices. That's just my opinion. What did Nao do? She's... Okay, look, between her and Deko, who would you pick? Be real with me. Who has been more dependable and who has been more fucking annoying? Right? Fair point, actually. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> Come to think of it, I was wondering about how Nao spent most of the first half in the Room of, room of Lies. There's... This video I've been curious about, so there's a certain someone I suspect a little. Actually, while I was searching the dark first floor, I saw a weird video, Meow. Pretty curious about Gin's actions myself. Why do you know how to get to the first floor? Okay, what is this? Actually, this video... When I first watched it, I was too scared to look. So I used the fake Professor Mishima's monitor to play it again. What sort of video was this? Um, well... It's possible it was just faked, right? So I don't want to say anything irresponsible. <laughs> it's the KG video. I won't know unless you tell me. Uh, well... Look, it's that video I watched with you before, Sarah. The video I saw with her. This is it. Now, you're talking about this victim video, aren't you? Ah, uh, the one I dropped! Yes, that's exactly right. There was a woman tied up by chains, and this terrifying device started up. And just like that, the woman died. And there was a man in front laughing. From behind, he... He looked like... the policeman. Uh... To me, it looked like he left the woman to die. Huh. A shocking story. But it could always be a forgery. Then why don't we ask? Keiji, is that video real? Or do you deny it? 
doubting you so we can believe you. I'll... I'll let him defend himself. I'm gonna say nothing... ...so he can defend himself. I wanna know the truth of that video, too. Miss Sarah, it's looking like it'll be faster if you press the issue. I'm sure even Keiji will open his mouth for his dear Miss Sarah. Well, if it's for me, his husband, Albin Knox, then maybe. Expose the true colors he's kept hidden so long. I'm counting on you. Expose Keiji? By my own hand? Look at his stupid thick neck and his stupid sexy hands and his stupid sexy expression! Oh my god. I didn't want to fight you, Sarah, but... Well... Can your eyes turn red while we fight? That would be really sexy. I mean stupid. That would be really stupid. I'll choose the words I can refute and talk back. Let's discuss the victim video now saw. How about? The first... Uh, Mr. Policeman's first trial. Everybody knows it. No. None of us have heard about what your first trial was yet, KG. Please, don't lie like so. Boy, that's a shocking comparison to hear. Sorry, sorry. I'll reflect on it. Is that scary cat now? I'm able to look at the right video. Maybe she averted her eyes in fear it happens. If she saw it alone, I'm sure she could have made a mistake. Unfortunately, I also watched it with her once in the monitor room. You know what's crazy? I'm getting all these right because KG's words are the only ones I paid attention to 100%. <laughs> There's no mistake, KG. So I see. Uh... Can't really make a great call from a backseat view. It's you who said to suspect each other so we could trust each other. If we only used concrete information, that wouldn't be suspecting, it'd just be facts. <laughs> uh, strange to suspect it, then turn around and believe this one. Should be no difference within the two after all. See, I was thinking the same thing, kind of, but... There is a difference. There, yeah, like there's, there isn't zero difference. There isn't zero difference between them. The security camera footage had no sound. I admit it's weak evidence, but you can't talk about them like they're identical. Huh, <sighs> makes some sense. Okie dokie, I'll admit that. Um. She was a policewoman. About that. The woman in the video was wearing a police uniform. You're a policeman too, Casey. Isn't this just a coincidence? I give. <laughs> I can't believe I got every single thing right. Holy shit. It's because I pay attention to you. <laughs> I give up. I can't beat you, Sarah. Please. Tell us everything, KG. The video... is real. The victim video that Nao saw. And it was also my first trial. The woman's name... was Megumi Sasahara. She was my boss ever since I joined the force. What? <gasps> oh my god! Wha He's not pineapple! 
I'm Keiji Shinogi. I've been assigned here starting this week. It's good to meet you. Oh shit, you're really cute! Oh my god! Good to meet you too. I'm Megumi Sasahara. I suppose this makes I suppose this makes me your trainer. Well, well, pretty impressive for your age, Shinogi. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But you might be a bit too serious. Even if you have stamina, you have to think about how to spend it or it won't last. Yeah, yeah, Keiji, you have to think about how to use your stamina or it won't last. Um, I heard you were rather elite, Miss Megumi. Why would you, uh, serve as a trainer for the likes of me? <laughs> I wonder indeed. <gasps> Don't you dare. <gasps> Get away from him. <gasps> I can't let you two be in the same room. <gasps> I have high hopes for you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Then came the day of my nightmares. I... shot a person. The criminal in a certain case. Miss Megumi. What? Why am I not being punished? I've... I've killed a person. In self-defense, yes. But... The criminal wasn't even holding a weapon. That's just what the law says. You've done nothing wrong. Miss Megumi. I heard you made a backroom deal. Oh shit, the back rooms. So what? Oh shit. Whoa! Wait, she's sus? Get back to your duty, your police. That's it. This is when he quit, huh? <laughs> She's the benefactor who protected me. I'll never forget it. I owed her the worst kind of debt. Left her to die? No, I... But... I killed her. Megumi. Mr. Policeman, get a hold of yourself, Meow. Sorry for keeping quiet, everyone. Truth is, your friendly police policeman's not a policeman anymore. Keiji. I'm surprised. What a dangerous individual we've had lurking in our midst. If you vote for me, I won't complain. No! Um, everyone, speaking of voting, I think it's about time to decide who you'll vote for and which four should enter the final vote. <laughs> Meow? <laughs> no way! That was way too quick! Well, you need time to work out the card trades this time, you see. Precisely. Choosing a victim without a satisfactory discussion is not an outcome we desire either. <laughs> What do we do? I don't want to suspect, but... Kyutaro, Soul, Keiji... You three are pretty sketchy. Put Kanna in there. <laughs> Hold up! Don't we need one more person, though? Troubling, huh? If it's down to three options, it'll make our choices that much narrower. I gotta suspect someone again, Woof? Sniffle. Then... Maybe it's better to think of who to leave out of the final vote, Meow. Who to leave out? That's a... Good idea, I guess. No, that doesn't... Does that really help anything? Because it's only... Honestly, it's really only Gin. People are going to suspect Deiko because she got body swapped. People are going to suspect Nao because of the AI thing. I hate Kanna and <laughs> <sighs> Shh. 
shit, we don't have time. Oh, we don't have time. Ah, uh, okay. That's a good idea again. Uh, really, Wolf? If you aren't chosen in the preliminary vote and are dropped out, because you can no longer be chosen, there's no need to lie anymore. That might be one of our greatest allies. Of course, if you're the sacrifice, it works against you. Got it, Wolf. Uh, let's talk about who we want to leave out, Meow. I think Big Sis Sarah should be left out, Meow. Because she's super dependable for reasoning, Wolf. We should leave out someone with lots of tokens, like you, Taro. How about we leave out Gin, since he doesn't have any tokens? We shouldn't be selecting Gin or Kanda. Sacrificing the kid is no good at all. This guy is such a fucking hypocrite, it hurts. What a fucking hypocrite, man. Soul should be left out. I mean, didn't he say he was the sacrifice to start? I'd, I have to say, I'd be glad if Sarah was left out. Right, if we're leaving someone out, I think I'd say Miss Sarah, too. Okay, so then... Me, Gin, Deco, and now... KG! No! I don't want to put KG in! Me, Deco, now, and KG. No! No! Me! Me, Deco, Gin, and KG. There we go. That's perfect. Uh... Am I supposed to... Extract anything here? Who's the sacrifice again? I think Soul claimed he was the sacrifice. It doesn't work when you do it. It only works when Keiji does it. When you try to do this, it makes me want to puke a little. What did you think I was gonna say? <laughs> when our escape failed, I looked at you and had a thought. She's acting kind of strange. You have this desperate look as if you were the sacrifice. And on top of that, a last minute trade right after our escape failed. Just a tad suspicious, isn't it? I want to know the truth about you, Miss Sarah. I ain't trying to look like a good person. I just feel like once we lose our sensibilities, we're going to turn into demons. Oh, you mean like you're not already? If it's going to come to that, then pick me. Okay. Okay! Because you're the one I want to live the most. Stop trying to make me like you! No matter what. Stop! There's been a bunch of card trading this time. It's possible Kutaro, with all his tokens, was involved in at least one trade. And him giving his tokens to Soul. The most likable character! <sighs> I swear to protect Big C Sarah, meow. <laughs> Fuck. Gin. I believe in you, meow. <laughs> He's literally the best character. The, ver the best person to leave out is someone who's very likely to have the sacrifice. If the sacrifice comes around to you, you can trade it away if you have any tokens, right? Gin has zero tokens. If Gin had the sacrifice even once, he wouldn't be able to trade it. So there's a high chance he's the sacrifice. I don't think so. It's because so's the sacrifice that you say to try and shit. Ugh. If he spots suspicious stuff and loses our trust, he can get us to vote for him. We'll leave him out and his heart should calm. But I wonder if just leaving him out would really make him say what he's thinking. <laughs> For an ally, he's a real pain, huh? He's just a pain in the ass overall. Oh, wait, what was that? 
A last minute trade right after our escape failed. Just a tad suspicious, isn't it? Kutaro? Kutaro? Is something the matter? There being a trade just before the main game. Is that true? Huh? It's... It's true? Uh, yes, it's true. Tencho, can I ask why you hate Kanna so vehemently? Because she betrayed us, not once, but twice. And... She's not trustworthy to me, and she's also been really fucking annoying a lot, even though she's been cute sometimes. Three times! Oh, yes! Three times! She fucking betrayed us three times, I think? That was all Soul's influence. She's just being manipulated. Okay, but listen. It's one thing if you let yourself get manipulated once. By the same person! It's one thing if you let yourself get manipulated twice! By the same person! But if you let yourself get manipulated three times by the same person. I just, I can't. It's so. <clears throat> it doesn't even matter if she's a kid, bro. Like, if she's 14, she has enough, like, what is it? Like, mental capacity to understand, like, after the first time she was manipulated, she should have been like, oh, maybe this guy's not a good guy. It doesn't take a lot of, uh, cogs in the old machine to understand that. Like, okay, e even if I throw her, e okay, look, even if I throw her a bone, and after the second time she was manipulated, I would be like, oh, okay, sure. But three times, three times, no, which means, yeah, just maybe, I figured out who's got the sacrifice. What? How could you possibly know that from what we just... Kutaro? I know. Everybody, listen up. You're gonna say something stupid to try to to try to throw everyone off. <sighs> well, I just how did I know? How did I know he was going to say something stupid? Yeah, I'm daring to say it before voting. What's this all of a sudden? I can't tell where you're going with this. You would say that, huh, Sarah? Ooh, I want to fucking strangle your stupid neck. Huh? I'm sorry for taking the key master from you. Wait. Wait, how? How? How would he do that? Because we were all in the same room when the trade ha- Oh no, the, did the light- the, Did the lights go out? I forgot how the trade happened. When we were together looking at the laptop in the lobby. Okay, the. When we were searching for Gein. When we were searching for Gein? That's when I got the. Uh, When did I get the sacrifice? I didn't get the sacrifice when it was... Gein, right? I got the sacrifice when we were all in the same room looking at the laptop. Because that's when I ran away. 
Yeah, when we were looking at the laptop. How did Qtaro... How did Qtaro trade with us? Because if we were in the same room... You got the sacrifice before Gin found you? No! I thought we got the sacrifice whenever... We were looking at the laptop. Right? Yeah, you did, during the laptop. So that means... So I'm confused because I don't know how Qtaro would have had the opportunity to trade with us. Because if he was in the same room as us, people would have seen him go into the phone booth. So... I'm really confused. Does he mean... The sacrifice card you got sent was mine, Sarah. How did you secretly... Hmm? It's Qtaro who sent me the sacrifice? And you still got the sacrifice now, ain't that right? What's he talking about? I have the commoner card now. Qtaro's making a false accusation here. Um, uh, make use of this, explain myself. How, yeah, I'm so confused. How did he trade? I'm gonna make use of this. You really think I'm the sacrifice? Yeah! Then just leave me out of the vote. Don't be misled, guys. The sacrifice gets two votes. If she puts those votes toward herself, she's getting selected. In other words, if I'm not selected, that will be proof. Either way, nobody vote for Miss Sarah and we'll have proof. I would like that, but it's about time we proceed with the vote. Please wait! Can we decide on such an important vote with so much still unclear? Can't just sort it out in just a short time. What should we do? The victim's gonna be one of us. One of the ones we nominate, remember? I think he's being genuine. I think he's being genuine too. I just don't understand how he did it. Lamb, thank you for the gifted membership. Thank you, thank you. Because if 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 Kutaro actually did it, we would have seen him walk into the phone booth in the lobby, but no one saw that. So I'm very confused how he did it. It wasn't in the room with the laptop thingy. Well, it was so, but is it possible that you can take, um, you can trade on behalf of other people? Is that possible? Maybe Kutaro gives Sol his tablet? Can't you switch anyone with yourself? I... I have no idea, actually. We should really discuss some more. You sure don't know when to give up. Time is up. Please select the four who will remain for the final vote. Enter your votes, please. Please choose who to vote for. <sighs> there are two people I want to vote for. <sighs> Which one? Which one? <laughs> Listen to your heart? You mean three? She's not a liability right now. Qtaro just said he's the key master. Oh shit, he is the key master, isn't he? 
fuck, if he's the key master, we can't vote for him. <sighs> vote KG? I can't! I don't think he's the key master. Uh... Vote for the one you hate the most. Are you baiting me? <laughs> you know I want to do it. You know I want to do it. Fucker. Displaying results. Whoa! Wait, that's... Really surprising, actually. Hmm? None for Kutaro is crazy? I don't... No, it makes sense, because if everyone knows he's the sacrifice, of course they wouldn't vote for him. Yeah, okay. Logically, this this adds up. Remember how I was saying the three stooges? If, okay, if someone out of the Three Stooges wasn't getting picked, a.k.a. Kutaro, it would immediately gravitate toward Keiji. So yeah, this, this makes sense. This makes sense. No, they don't believe... Well, I guess they do kind of believe him unconditionally, huh? Sacrifice has two votes. Hmm. Hmm. What does now have two votes? That's a good question. The first vote is over. And I wasn't chosen. Relief. I can feel my strained nerves loosening. But why these four? Sarah, you... It's just like I said. I'm not the sacrifice. I'm a commoner. <laughs> four will advance to the final vote. So Hiori. Kanna Kizuchi. Keiji Shinogi. Nao Egokoro. Why me? Hmm. This isn't right. I know this despair myself. Yeah, I don't think anyone was like beefing with now, so. No, nobody likes you, I guess. <laughs> you can't want to have a conversation when you feel like this. Which is why it's my role to inspire them. Like Keiji did for me in the first game. Give them a pep talk! Yeah, it's pep talk time. <laughs> Lift your heads up! We've always done what we had to do. No matter how cruel it is, you can't stop. But... Come now, we're not your enemies. Even if someone is the sacrifice, we move in the same direction. We talk and we advance the discussion. Sarah. <laughs> right you are. The real battle begins here. Everyone. Guess those of us who weren't picked should start. Incidentally, my role's a commoner, got that? A muscle gorilla! It's not the time to shrivel up, meow! Let's remember the card trades in order, woof! Yeah. Woo! My main character is doing some main charactering. Now, please grasp your fate with your own hands. May you all not perish. Now, we're gonna proceed along digging into the details of the trades. <laughs> Big Sister Echo! Got it, meow! Gus, you quietly sat in the chair again. There were four trades made in total. 
That ain't that many. By the way, I've been a commoner the whole way, Wolf. Didn't get traded with even once, Meow. Trading cards required 50 tokens, so only so many people could make trades. Good night, Maru Maru. Yes, I mean. Hmm. Honestly, it's all a mess in my head. Glad we got given more time to sort it out. By the way, I've been a commoner. My heart was pounding, wondering when I'd get past a bad card, meow. But my role didn't change up until the very end, woof. I made it through all five trades, meow. Uh oh. Muscle Gorilla, that's wrong, Meow. What? There were five trades, Wolf. Five? Wait, uh... By my memory, there were three trades. Then I heard there was one just before the main game. Ah, I get it. You misunderstood, Kutaro. There were two trades while you were out. Wait, really? What? That don't make no sense! That's our line, Meow! S sorry, but nobody's given me an explanation. Uh, well, that's on us. Hey, Kyutaro, when was it that you passed Sarah the sacrifice card? Actually, did you have the sacrifice from the start? Nah, that ain't it. The first card I had was commoner. I get it. That tells me most of the trades. What? I don't have a clue, Wolf. Why is that, Meow? Because of your friend because your friendly policeman made the first trade. For real? Who'd you trade what? I gave Sarah the keymaster. Huh? Then what card did Sarah start with? I was a commoner. At first, I was a commoner. You traded Keymaster for Commoner Meow? And I deepened their trust doing it. Let's do a little sort out. In the first trade, I passed the Keymaster into Sarah's hands. In the second trade, what got traded? Uh. Someone's Sacrifice and Kutaro's Commoner. Exactly. Someone's sacrifice was swapped with Kutaro's commoner. And then the third trade, Sarah's keymaster and Kutaro's sacrifice were swapped. Yep, that's what it mean. <laughs> Muscle Gorilla, tell us everything you can remember, Meow. We're gonna have you tell us all the details of the third trade. Like, how did you do it, number one? At the time of the third trade, I was searching the first floor alone, Meow. So, I want to know the situation, Wolf. The third trade happened while everyone was sharing the laptop. Yeah! I'm so confused! You can now sort out the details of the trades. What is this? Oh my god! Top row of this table is what cards everyone had to start with. Those further to the right had more tokens to spend. Okay. Cards everyone had after the first trade. Second, third, okay. Okay. So, these are the ones we started with. Okay, no one is reacting. Kitaro, why aren't you talking? I was off doing all this stuff by myself, Wolf. I wanted to see the laptop, meow. What stuff did you do exactly? <laughs> it's not relevant right now, Wolf. Kin? The 
short trade happened while everyone was sharing the laptop. I was worried because you were acting strange, Sarah. To think you'd be you'd been traded a sacrifice. <laughs> Damn, Kutaro. You gonna make that trade on the spot and then act all innocent? Huh, something strange here. Kutaro was with us and Sarah, yeah, he traded his sacrifice with the keymaster on the spot. I want you to deny it, Kutaro. So was Kutaro trying to get us killed? What? I mean, you need a ring up box to trade. If he used one on the spot, shouldn't we have seen him do it? Exactly! That's what I'm saying! What could he be hiding? All right, here we go. Click, 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 click. What the hell? Click, 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 click. Please say something, Kutaro. Kutaro. Oh good, I couldn't find the words. Wait, did I not click fast enough? You serious? Wait, are you... Really? Oh my god. I tried to not click fast because I know the flashing on the screen is kind of annoying. But I guess I do have to click really fast. Okay. Sorry guys, if you're sensitive to like flashing. Okay. Yeah, flash warning, I guess. Okay, there we go. Be as silent as you want. It's no use. I... Spit it all out, Kutaro. I meant to cooperate with Sarah, with everyone. But I got used for convenience. I'm a pathetic, pathetic adult. The third sacrifice. My sacrifice being sent to Sarah. It wasn't me. It was Sol's doing. Do you guys see why I fucking hate Sol so much? Yeah, wow. How surprising. I don't know what you're talking about. So knew. He knew I had the sacrifice. What? When everybody was sharing the laptop, Soul wasn't going to use the toilet. He went to use a ring-up box to trade my sacrifice in Sarah's Keymaster. You can do that? I didn't know you could do that. Don't know a thing about that. Wait a second. He chose two pe other people and made them trade? You can do that? It must be possible, huh? Huh. So you can say that with confidence. So, isn't it about time you confess? Tell us your real reason for sharing the laptop. <laughs> Such a deeply suspicious individual, Keiji. Oh, shit. What the fuck? The discussion is stuck in equilibrium, failing to come to an agreement. How about I hear the truth from your mouth? <laughs> about what? Between the statements these two give, I should either... Affirm the correct ones, or deny the incorrect ones. Kitaro couldn't do the third trade. I was on the toilet, so I couldn't either. I can't deny this. But this is... yes. Exactly, because he was with us. The question is, how did you know the sacrifice? Ah, <sighs> just rolling on ahead with this assumption that I knew, huh? Uh, no. Peeking would be impossible. 
Oh yeah? Then I guess I couldn't have done it. Is my suspicion cleared? That was wrong. Ah, shit! Um... I didn't do anything like that. You have proof? Shit! Ah, oh, fuck! Okay. I was on the toilet, so I couldn't either. Um... Guitar couldn't do the third trade. Deny KG, maybe? Because at that time, he didn't have the laptop. No, I doubt even Soul could do such a thing. Oh, is there any other way? Okay, maybe I'll fucking deny this then. Oh no, affirm? Precisely, you saw it directly. Kyutaro's intent was to negotiate with Soul. And as a condition for his trade, he showed, he showed Soul his sacrifice card. It's natural to think that. Such an active imagination, Miss Sarah. How about you use that imagination to consider what their negotiation was like? Kitaro started to negotiate outside Soul's bedroom door. Huh? Were you watching or what? Wait, don't we have... Don't we have proof, actually? Because we were watching through the monitors! Exactly! We watched you do it! Are you talking about some fake video again? Find some more solid evidence, Miss Sarah. Oh, God damn it! Uh. Yes, even Soul's already recognized that fact. <laughs> That's right. How did Soul react to Kutaro's proposition? He must have let him in the room quickly and struck a deal. I'm not brave enough to let Kutaro in. Uh. Yes. Exactly. You're frail, Soul. You surely wouldn't have that courage. <laughs> Is that meant to be a provocation? It's not working. <laughs> Fuck! This is hard. He must have let him in the room quickly and struck the deal. Can I? I was trembling like a puppy. Miss Sarah, don't lump strangers in with really powerful high school girls like yourself. <laughs> Okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay, so this one is... Kutaro couldn't do the third trade. What was this one? He took a peek. He saw it directly. And... Wait, what if they didn't actually start negotiations outside the bedroom door? What if they were talking about this for a while? No, negotiating through a door is just strange. Uh, um... Fuck! Fuck! Deny? Oh, of course I wasn't watching. That's all because of the... I'm so confused. Oh, wait! I already knew this! Oh my god. He must have let him in the room quickly and struck a deal. I'm not brave enough to let Kutaro in. Okay, so we affirmed and denied, and then... Okay, affirmed. He promptly invited him in to talk. Hey, you know, Kutaro despises me quite a bit. So would I really throw caution to the wind and open the door for him? Fuck. I'm sure Sol was on guard. Kutaro would have taken the laptop from him once before. So wouldn't let him in the room, no questions asked. Then did they make a deal through the door? How amusing, I just thought of a way. Kyutaro slipped the tablet under the door. Wouldn't he consider I might betray him? Oh, so this is how they did the deal. Okay. That's exactly it! That's what Kyutaro did to propose his deal. Soul must have been fairly wary of Kyutaro, who could best him using force. So Kyutaro informed him that he was the sacrifice in advance. 
Not vocally, but by showing him his tablet. But don't you die if people find out your role? Or did that rule change? So, you had yet another objective on top of the tokens and the Seraph folder. To control the sacrifice as you wanted. It was a dummy rule. Oh, it was a fake rule. Oh, okay, okay. You got it. After the second trade, me and Katna were working on the escape plan. And then I heard Kutaro through the door. Wanna make a deal, he said. I didn't care to listen, but he slid his tablet under the door. And there I saw it. Sacrifice. How brave of him to go so far as offering up info just so I'd share the laptop. What do you know? Sarah. You saw that first floor security footage, right? Well, it's the truth. I haven't discussed my first trial, have I? Whoa, wait, what? It was one absurd trial, I tell you. They told me... Wait, what? Set up the props used for the death game. Wait, what? Then it's true? You set up the cards? Yeah. Of course, I didn't know what they meant yet. Once I found out, I knew Kai's fate was set. It's like I killed him. Kai took the sage card I placed at random. That's why I at least wanted to get Kai's laptop back one more time. Such an emotional story. So that's what drove you to give me a whole 100 token. 100? 100, Meow? No shit. That's enough for two trades. Well, you left yourself just enough for one trade. How cunning. Pretending to risk your life, but not forgetting to protect yourself. What a dirty adult you are. <laughs> Say again? All told, you left yourself an escape route. If you were in a pickle, you could pass the sacrifice away from yourself. That's why I decided to act first, and send the sacrifice to someone else. To Miss Sarah, always thinking of her allies. <laughs> Is that the truth of the third trade? <laughs> I was hopeful it might make you tear off your sheep's clothing. Why does he do all this to me? But you went above and beyond my expectations. Huh? The fourth trade was you, wasn't it, Miss Sarah? Um, what are you talking about? I mean, the sacrifice is what... Honestly, I don't mind if he dies. Honestly, if Soul dies, I I don't mind. Like, actually. I didn't do any trade, I didn't have any tokens. I didn't do any trade. Your guess is off the mark there. I didn't do any trades. In fact, I couldn't. Someone stole my wallet. That's a poor excuse. Quiet, loner! I was with Big Sis Sarah for the fourth trade, woof. So was I. Sarah didn't do any trade then. Huh, well... Well then, it must have been an ally who did it for you. KG, you took the sacrifice from Miss Sarah, didn't you? What? What's the meaning of this? It's really very simple. Two of them were accomplices. Dude, seeing evil Sarah is so interesting. <laughs> Ahem? Miss Sarah and Kenji formed a terrifying plan involving the sacrifice. To achieve victory in the main game by way of said sacrifice. They schemed to escape by working together and having Kenji win the vote. I suspect the fifth trade that followed was Miss Sarah and Keiji making a bluff. 
Huh? They just picked two random commoners to trade. To, to have trade. <laughs> then the sacrifice is KG? <laughs> That's all a wild fabrication. I mean, the sacrifice I had was taken away by the fifth trade. So spouting nonsense, leading to lead everyone by the nose. If my reasoning is correct, KG is the sacrifice and the sage is... Miss Nowell, perhaps. I'm the sage? Yep. So it may well be fine to have Miss Nowell die... God, I hate him. I hate him. Oh, wait a second! At the start, you said you were the sacrifice. Yep, that was a lie. I'm a commoner. No way! Then wouldn't you be in the same boat as me? Huh, I see. Guess choosing anybody but Keiji is the same in the end. And let's vote for Kanna, since she's the least valuable. See, it's circling back around to this again. I I feel like... Uh, I feel like he's trying to make us vote for Kanna. So... Enough. Hmm? It's been a long time since I've hated somebody this much. Here's a friendly little police report. I long since used up all my tokens. <laughs> and you want me to just believe that? So, you're just dying to say I ended up being the sacrifice, aren't you? He's the sage. Does that mean Kyutaro is lying? <laughs> Wait, okay, if... I'm so... Does that mean the fourth trade was Keiji? With Kyutaro? Does that mean Kyutaro is still the sacrifice? <laughs> what are you saying? Keymaster is Kutaro, though. Looks like we got him good. My real role is the Sage. What the fuck? What? What? Oh my God! Wow! Wow! Kyutaro's the sage? Ridiculous! That's impossible! It's possible, alright. And as the sage, I'm making an announcement. Keiji's without a doubt the key master. It can't be true. That's all. You were on the right track to think accomplices. But it wasn't Sarah I teamed up with, it was Kyutaro. <laughs> Let's tell the truth of the fourth trade, shall we? The trade between Mr. Policeman and Kyutaro. What? First, when Soul betrayed me with the sacrifice, I went stomping around in a rage. When I heard what happened, I proposed to Kyutaro that we teamed up. And so in the fourth trade, Cage and Kutaro's cards got traded. And that fourth trade sure ended up punishing the loner now, meow. Hold on. Kutaro, weren't you passed out during the fourth trade? That doesn't mean someone else can't trade his card. Seeing you act funny, Sarah, I was convinced. The sacrifice had moved to you. I wouldn't let it stand. I decided I'd knock him down and take my tokens back. Oh, so Kyutaro wasn't actually expecting that Soul was going to give sacrifice to me. Keiji noticed me then and came to talk. 
He persuaded me to give it up. Didn't know what Soul was thinking after all. And so I trusted Keiji and had him take custody of all my remaining tokens. Wait, but didn't Keiji lie? All of them? I mean, Keiji could use the trade himself, but... But... Is he panicking? He hasn't worked out his logic. When I first spotted him, I just pacified him since he was pissed. But I ended up talking with Kutaro and we thought things over. In the fourth trade, I traded my card with Kutaro's Keymaster. But actually, when I went and did this trade myself, I, I went and did this trade myself while Kutaro was passed out. Seems Kutaro figured it out during the main game and was able to put the story together. It's all owed to the power of that card. Even my noticing of Kutaro's Keymaster. Mr. Policeman was burning with desire to see justice carried out. He used a whole 50 tokens to trade cards with Muscle Gorilla. Wait, that's what I'm saying! Mr. Policeman said he didn't have any tokens at the fourth trade. Then he couldn't have traded! Did he ask someone else to trade?! Oh! Okay, this... That's why. Ah, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gave him all your tokens, Meow? Sure did. And it seems like that landed way outside Soul's ballpark. Sh shut up! Running out of leeway, are we? I I've still got doubts. I can't be convinced with just that. After all, Keiji, why were you able to know about Kutaro having the Keymaster? Isn't the only way to do that during the main game with the Sage's power of clairvoyance? Is it because... Huh? Ah, so you still don't know. Okie dokie, and let's resume the discussion. We were able to extract a new statement from Sol. The only way to do that during the main game with the Sage's Power of Clairvoyance. Wait, what? Commoner, Keymaster, Sacrifice. Why can't I see Sage? Oh, here we go. Knows who the Keymaster is, but cannot lie about the results. Hmm. Okay. Do I extract this? No. Sure enough, seems like I got knocked out and taken out in advance. Okay, so it's one of these. Seeing through who the Keymaster is. The power of that card. Okay, so it's this one and this one. The power of that card. You don't mean... Hmm? Yeah, the Sage is clairvoyance, of course. The Sage... Could use clairvoyance even outside of the main game? Oh shit. That's what the tablets are for. You intentionally didn't mention it! <laughs> Unraveled all the mysteries now? This should prove it. Mr. Policeman used clairvoyance to see Kutaro's keymaster. Then I made the fourth trade to swap Kitaro's Keymaster and my Sage. Wait, so when did you get the Sage? Okay, so the first trade was me and KG. The second trade... It was the second trade? Well, it had to be the second trade. So, KG got the Sage at the second trade. But who did he trade with? 
And now there isn't even need to discuss the fifth trend anymore. So Qtaro started as the sage. Ah. Convinced of your victory earlier, you confessed. I'm a commoner. <laughs> Any other questions? No, there's something odd about Keiji's story. It'll become clear if I look back at the trades so far. The card I had at first was a commoner. Keiji's was a keymaster, yes. And in the first trade... Yes. Next, the second trade. Sacrifice went to Kutaro and his commoner went to someone else. <sighs> Are they lying about the sage? Did they make this whole thing up? Next, the third trade. Me and Kutaro. And the fourth trade... See, this doesn't make sense. Because why does Keiji have Sage now? He messed up with the Keiji and Sage went to Kutaro. Part the strain, sure enough, it's the Sage card, the Keymaster? It's the Sage card. That's right, the Sage is out of place. Keiji should have been a commoner the whole time. So why did Keiji have the Sage at the time of the fourth trade? He's lying about having Sage now. <laughs> what? Because Keiji was able to see that Kutaro had the Keymaster. Keiji's first card wasn't the Keymaster? Wait, so... So, so then how did... Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Someone else gave Sarah a Keymaster first? Oh my god! He traded me with someone else! Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. He traded me with someone else. Keiji's first card wasn't the Keymaster. He knew who the Keymaster was, and that... Oh my god. That's how he could give me their card. Oh! Keiji's first card being the Keymaster. That was a lie. Mm-hmm. Keiji had the sage from the beginning. And so, his clairvoyance let him see who had the Keymaster from the beginning, too. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. That's how he knows he traded the Keymaster. Which is why in the first trade, he could make me and the person with the Keymaster trade. But if he did that, hasn't he been lying to me this whole time? Are you really going to vote for Sol? Fuck yeah! No? Something's not right. We should discuss this a little more. <laughs> Don't be stupid! You're a candidate now! If the discussion leads to you getting picked, <laughs> I'm afraid too. But I just get this weird feeling. Are we sure Sol is really a commoner? And Keiji's the Keymaster? Hmm. Is something really out of place? <sighs> okay. 
The fifth trait. Yeah, I guess the fifth trait is out of place a little. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're exactly right. There are still mysteries remaining. In the fifth trade. Why did someone trade for the sacrifice I had? And the other party was a commoner. You're the sacrifice, you motherfucker. <laughs> this isn't a problem we can ignore. Yeah, meow. This fifth trade. We should talk about it some, Wolf. If by any chance we pick the sacrifice, we're done for, you know? We shouldn't need any more discussion. He already knows, too. He already knows, too! Digging up old conclusions is just gonna make us more lost. It's your turn to die, Sol. He said the thing! And he's hot! That's how this'll end. No. We can't do that, Casey. What do you mean? Of course we can! As long as we have time, we should still seek the truth. Alright. Let's do it! We'll discuss the roles of the four who were in the final vote. And there's someone who moves Sarah's sacrifice via the fifth trade. If Keiji's the key master, Sol Kanar Nao should be the sacrifice, right? Is the lunar really a commoner meow? Should we believe that wolf? It's alright, Sol was convinced the whole time that Sarah traded away the sacrifice. In other words, Kanar now. Which one of them would have the sacrifice? I don't believe it! Keiji and Kyutaro are lying! Huh? Eh? Okay. Soul fell for Keiji's trick. The location on the sacrifice or any other card. He didn't know one lick about the truth. If he'd stolen my tablet when he knocked me out, maybe he could have learned my card. But I kept it on me at all times to avoid just that. Wait, what? Wait. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Kutaro. You're saying you had your tablet on you at all times, yes? Yep, take a look, it's right here. Why are you lying? Why? Why are you lying? And when you woke up, where was it? Uh, on the table in the last supper room. On the table? I'd call that being off, you... I'd, I'd call that being off you, meow! As I thought. The tablet Kutaro has now is a spare. This tablet I picked up was lying near you when you were passed out. What'd you say? I would assume this is Kutaro's original tablet. The question is, why was it lying on the floor? You swapped the fucking tablets! That means Sol is the key master. Sol took it. It's because Sol took the tablet from Kutaro. What? But they're locked by fingerprints, Wolf. Sure, but while well, near him, he could bypass that simply by pressing the fainted Kutaro's finger to it. And so we arrive at an outrageous truth. What do you mean by that? Depending on when Sol looked at the tablet, he might have seen through our entire strategy. Huh? The worst time for it would be after the fourth trade. That's when Kitaro had the sage and I had the key master. If he saw the tablet, then he could use Kitaro's sage power to also know I was the key master. So, has Sol just been acting fooled? Dude, you got me. Or not. I wonder if I'm acting right now. Or maybe I'm telling the truth. So. 
Not good. Now there's the possibility that Soul has the sacrifice. Ugh, so as it stands, there's no way we can vote for Soul. But that doesn't mean we can just vote for Kanna or Nao either. Well then, let's resume the, the discussion, guys. We'll discuss who it's safe to vote for. I hate you. I hate him. Well, we gotta find the one with the least chance of having the sacrifice. So is an absolute no-go. He's... Oh, God. He's most likely to pull this kind of trick. But between Buggy Girl and Big Sis now, is there any real difference, Wolf? You'd need a certain amount of tokens to take the sacrifice from Sarah in the fifth trade. And he had them. He had a hundred tokens. If you consider the token counts, you get your answer. Wait. Soul had... If Soul has a hundred tokens... Who took your tokens, though? How many times did Soul trade? Okay, so KG traded the first time. Who was the second trade again? It was... Uh... Shit, I forgot what the second trade was. Wasn't it Kutaro and, uh... Kutaro and... Someone unknown. Okay, okay, so... Wait. Someone unknown? Oh, you can click on the trade? Oh, oh! The common card that Kutaro started with apparently got changed to sacrifice. Is it possible this was Soul? Soul gave Kutaro the sacrifice? Kutaro, Sarah. Commoner, Sarah. That would make sense because if Soul has commoner here, if Soul took Kutaro's commoner. You know what? I think Soul is actually the sacrifice. Wait, did someone just react? Hmm. That doesn't affect the fifth trade. Uh, hmm. You need a certain amount of trokins from Sarah. Do I have anything for this? Oh, I thought I extracted already. Oh, shit. No, I didn't. Oops. I don't know the name of the one who did the trade. What possibilities are there? If you consider the token counts, you'll get your answer. Bucket Girl had a lot, and Bixis now only had a little. Tokens? Bucket Girl had a lot. Okay, so it's this. Like Gin says, now hardly had any tokens. Surely she couldn't be the one to take the sacrifice from Sarah. Oh, so it's Kanna. Kanna took the sacrifice from Sarah. Oh. Oh. Then, is now the one with the least likelihood? Wait, please. 
This isn't right. They exist now. Least likelihood. Are you going to kill me with such vague reasoning? Please have another discussion. You're right. We can't end this discussion. You. What are you saying? I just remembered something. There was a way anyone could get tokens. Miss Sarah, you know it too, don't you? Uh, attractions? From my stolen... <gasps> Wait, from Alice's body? <gasps> Wait, from Alice's body? <gasps> Wait, from Alice's body? <laughs> By stealing tokens. From Alice's body. I knew you could do it. Pixis now wouldn't do such a thing, Meow. But it's true. When I went to check the body, the tokens were already gone. And now I was closely inspecting the Room of Lies. Nah. It ain't just now who could have done it. Couldn't any of us have gotten those tokens? In other words, everyone has the potential to possess the sacrifice. <laughs> it all ends with a game of trust. And that last action is going to be the key. What were each of us doing at the time of the fifth trade? As in... Just before the main game started, Wolf? <laughs> Hope you can find the sacrifice. I hate you. Fuck, I hate you. We have to determine based on Sol, Kanna, and Nao's actions the fifth, the, the time of the fifth trade. Okay, determine their actions. Sol, Kanna, and Nao. I was sitting on the stairs thinking back to everything that had happened. I was on the laptop in the runner's room the whole time. Will you believe that? Kanna wasn't really doing anything. Just wandering absent-mindedly. Did anybody see what the three were doing? I was with Nao on the stairs for most of the time. I was searching all by myself to see if there were any other exits, Meow. Why aren't you speaking? Question her. I'm gonna question now, uh, Kanna. Are you hiding something, Kanna? Eh? Come to think of it, I feel like you were the only one I didn't see around then. That's true! Really, where were you? I... I mean... Uh, I was looking for something I dropped. Something she dropped? Like what? And I wasn't able to find it in the end. We just ran out of time. Hmm? I eventually went to check on the rubble blocked exit. It was always the same hopeless situation, though. So I don't know what Nala was doing. I couldn't even stand up. Everything is through. Sarah, please save me. Huh? There was also a ring up box right in front of me. What do you think, Miss Sarah? I didn't see the other three. Didn't you tell me you found something while searching? No. Yeah. There was a smartphone on the stairs, Wolf. What? Ah, that's what it was. It wouldn't even make tolls. It was useless for escape. Okay. Wait, do I not have the smartphone? Kanna, was it a smartphone you lost? How did you know? Sure enough. I bet it's the same smartphone I found in Kanna's first trial room. Gin, tell me, where did you pick that up? It was a ways down the stairs, Meow. <sighs> How clumsy. She must have just dropped it while we were climbing the stairs, surely. Are you trying to give her an alibi? Are you protecting Kanna? Are you protecting Kanna, Sol? Me? Stick up for Kanna? Think back for me. 
When we were climbing the stairs, So and Kanna were walking in front. If she had dropped the phone then, everyone should have noticed. In short, this was only dropped after we all climbed up to the exit. Kanna dropped it while descending the stairs. What did she descend for? Why did you try to hide this, Kanna? Because... Pixie Sarah, there's a message on this phone, Meow. Alright, that's what Kanna's sister... Huh? It's a different... Wait, what? Okay, now I feel bad. Ah. Now it's Kanna's turn to protect her big sister, because that's how Kanna can atone. So Kanna this whole time has been trying to save Sarah. And that's why Kanna is the one who traded Sarah's sacrifice for Sarah's sacrifice. Thank you. I love you, sister. Now it's Kanna's turn to protect her big sister. Because that's how Kanna can atone. This. P please give that back. Hold on. Did you write this, Kanna? Kanna's big sister is already dead. Could it be the sister in this message is... No way. Wait, if I think about it, it also doesn't make sense because... If Kanna took the sacrifice, and she's trying to save Sarah... And Sol is trying to throw Kanna under the bus... Doesn't this mean he's also trying to save me and Kanna? Uh, are you... Are you serious? So, no, he's trying to save himself. Is he? Because if he knows that Kanna took the sacrifice in order to save Sarah, but he's still trying to save Sarah. Or no, he's still, but if he's still trying to save Kanna, that means he's trying to save Kanna and Sarah. Why would he try? Maybe he thought Kanna would pick him instead of Sarah? I don't know. I think Sol would have noticed. He did! I'm pretty sure... Well, I don't know. No way. Surely not. Is that right, Kanna? Your sister here... Is me? Yes. I feel really, really bad now, because before... Remember I didn't shake Kanna's hand? <sighs> fuck. 
Now I feel really bad. <laughs> I know. And strange. But Kanna... To Kanna, you're... And so you wanted to save Sarah that much? Yes. Hey, Kanna. Was it you who tra traded away Sarah's sacrifice? To avoid using the ring-up box in the winner's room, you return to the third floor to trade. <laughs> hey now, you're talking like Kanna's... Are you saying she took the sacrifice to protect Sarah? That's... So... It's inconceivable. No. I don't want to conceive of it. Deny it, Kanna. <laughs> what worthless reasoning. That's all a load of... No. It's all correct. You idiot! Don't say anything! Kanna did the fifth trade. She... won't hide the truth anymore. Kanna! Kanna did it. She really did it. To protect me. She took the sacrifice for herself. This is just the worst outcome. A self-sacrifice? Kanna. So, you got on at some point, didn't you? That's why you were trying to move the votes toward Kanna. Shut up. Since there was no other way for Kanna to survive. I... Please wait. Will you listen carefully to what Kanna has to say? With the fifth trade, Kanna switched her card and Sarah's card. Once she knew escape wasn't possible anymore, she had no idea what to do. Then she looked at the phone. Seeing her sister's words calmed her heart. And she came to despise herself for not being able to do anything. This whole time, Kanna had just kept betraying. Her sister, the others, Sarah. She just had a feeling that Sol had sent the sacrifice to Sarah. Kanna doesn't get the complicated trade talk. But she can't even reason out who gave who what. Even so, she was certain of just one thing. Because Sarah is so kind, she couldn't trade the sacrifice to anyone. Kanna... Kanna... She didn't want to let Sarah die. And also... She didn't want to make Sol a murderer. Oh... Man... That seemed more painful than her own death. So she traded... Her commoner for Sarah's sacrifice. she received was a commoner what wait didn't so talk about hacking the cards before what what's going on here kanna Kanna doesn't understand either. She's sure she traded cards with Sarah. 
But it wasn't the sacrifice! Unthinkable. Oh shit, new music! Oh shit! Oh shit, new music! Unthinkable. What is Kamna saying? It's all true. Please believe me. At any rate, we just have to talk about Kamna's statement. No way. Oh my god, I thought we were out of time. I can't believe Bucket Girl, Wolf. She's lying to try and confuse us, Meow. Well, maybe Kamna just messed up who she was trading with or something. Some unique situation that caused the rule to just disappear. Is that possible, I wonder? You can't trust electronics for shit! The tablet errored and the trade got messed up! Don't tell me. I wonder if so hacked the roll cards themselves. I don't know what to believe. I can't see through the truth in their hearts right now. So I might just have to find the objective truth. Truth. Fuck. I don't know how the ring up boxes work, but if you're just saying names into the receiver, there could be mistakes. And yet my sacrifice definitely moved. If it ain't Kanna's mistake, then maybe the floor master purposely changed the destination, something like that. Dude, that'd be so fucked up. Gosh, you changed the trade? Uh, come to think. Wasn't Miley talking about some transgression of Gashu's just before the main game? <laughs> Wait, what? Maybe the influence of Soul's hacking extended to the roll data or something. Some nice evidence will make that more conceiving. Too bad. Ain't unthinkable. This might be an absurd opinion, but Sol was messing with his remaining time in the lap or spending his remaining time messing with the laptop in the winner's room. Did he hack the card data? There isn't anyone but Sol who could cause an irregularity. Oh shit! Wait a second. There was a possibility. Something separate from Soul's hacking. And an irregularity that definitely occurred. The transgression by Floor Master Gashu. Huh? Say what? Kitsune, spot daddy, I thought. Remember what Miley said before the main game. Gashu, are you listening? You've really gone and mucked things up. You've made a flag flagrant transgression, one that shakes the very core of the main game. And despite being such a huge transgression, it hasn't shown itself at all thus far. And now, this illogical movement of the cards that's tormenting us. Could this very issue be Gashu's transgression? If we believe Kanna, that's the only explanation. You're saying the coot tampered with the card movement? But for the Floor Master, what would be the merit of doing that? I don't know, there's no merit. There is no merit, right? Maybe there was no merit. No, there has to be one. Shit! At the very least, he must have had a goal in mind. If we can figure out what that is, we might know who he moved this- What if he moved the sacrifice to himself? <gasps> Guys, what if Floor Masters have cards? Huh. Quite the off-mark interference. Is it alright for you to be using your time on this? Gosh, you. If you haven't engaged in any misconduct, and then promise us. Hmm? I know the Floor Master's code. If we can expose your transgression in this main game won't count. We demand a second attempt 24 hours later. <laughs> you just know everything, don't you? As to be expected from Miss Sarah Chidoin. Promise or no promise? I will simply carry out my duty as per the code. Oh, you for real? In 24 hours, we could make another shot at escape. But are you certain? 
If you cannot prove it, you will only be losing time to spend on other reasoning. It's okay. This new possibility we've spun. This theory wasn't being directed at Gashu. So, please tell us the truth. The other possibility is that you did some sort of hacking to the roll card, so... If we know whether that claim is true or not, we can fight. Let's all combine forces to win an extension. Oh, no. Kanna. Yes? You really... don't have the sacrifice? It's okay. Kanna really doesn't have the sacrifice. I see. I... I didn't access the roll cards. I didn't do any hacking to them. So... Oh shit, is this new music too? Oh shit, they... What? That's the truth, Miss Sarah. No lies, no tricks. Alright, let's quit deceiving each other. Let's work together to expose Gashu's transgression. Just what I wanted to hear. This is a turning point in our destiny. A path we could never have reached if we were trapped by endless suspicion. The path of all of us trusting each other and battling the kidnappers head on. Together, we'll expose Gashu Gashu's misdeed. Okay? Oh, shit! <laughs> Oh, the background changed! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, new music again! Oh, my God. Gosh, you had something to gain from tampering with the trade. You think you had the sacrifice? Go to someone who wanted to kill? Or else you think there was somebody who, who gosh, you didn't want to die? Is there an answer in the clues we have left? There's a fundamental issue. Maybe the sacrifice wasn't actually sent to anybody. Ooh, that's a good point. So Gashu's transgression was making the sacrifice vanish. Seems unthinkable, sure, but it's just one possibility. There is something curious about the antagonism between Gashu and Miley. Out of all the evidence we've seen so far, is there anything related to this transgression? I think there is. If there is, I should show it to Kanna. If there isn't, I should tell her there isn't. Extract first. The person with the sacrifice is real likely to die. That's why Gashu meddled. Like, I don't want them to die, so I'll move the sacrifice to somebody else. The person who normally end up having the sacrifice. Kanna! Wait, what? Hmm. It's out there, really. It's out there, but maybe in reality, Gashu's an ally. Like, he wanted this to be exposed so he could put a stop to the main game. Is that too unthinkable? The Coot hates one of us in particular. He wanted him to be killed via the sacrifice in the main game, even if it meant tampering. But who in the world would that be? It's gotta be the guy who made a escape plan and ruined his honor as a floor master. I... I don't think so! Gashu had something to gain by tampering with the trade. Is it the stun gun? No. No, 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 no. Tamper with the cards to kill Sol? I don't think so.
If fewer than four in Palan's final vote uses that many. If only one victim is chosen with the final vote. Out of all the evidence we've seen so far, is there anything related to this transgression? There is... No, none of the evidence. That's what I thought. We've discussed all the evidence already. Unless there's some new evidence that hasn't come up in discussion, I don't see any leads. Some yet unused evidence. So, can I use this now? Okay! All right, got it, got it, got it. The only clue that hasn't been used yet is this roster. Now I can use it. I was like, wait a second, why can't I use this? It looks kind of familiar. Oh, that's just like the torn of paper I found on the first floor, meow. Though, what use could this have? Why? Why do you have that? Eh? I got you? Are you okay? Eh? Oof. Miley! Curse her. Handing it- Handing internal documents to participants? Wait, Miley? Hmm. Wait, what? Internal documents? Gosh, you're just what is this roster? <laughs> what indeed? He caught on to the fact I don't know what this means. Shit! You did good, Sarah. Huh? Gosh, you just made a slip of the tongue. You freaked him out. Whatever could you mean? Kai was a whole lot better at playing dumb, huh? <gasps> Kai! What meaning could these papers have? I can't even guess, but... There's value in solving this mystery. We got time! Let's talk- let's thoroughly talk out anything suspicious about this roster. There are four bound sheets and four names on each sheet. Besides our names, there's a bunch of names I never even heard. Huh? This roster doesn't seem to be sorted by name. Hold on a sec. There are participants whose names aren't on this, huh? A roster? It's reminding me of something, Meow. If you want a closer look at the roster, roster, tell Mr. Policeman and we'll look at it together. You. Joe isn't on this either. What are you trying to say? S sorry, no ill will meant. I'm just laying out the facts to reason from. Okay, that's fair. Counting them now. There are four of us participants whose names aren't listed here. Yes. Exactly one sheet's worth, huh? Uh-huh, tons of peeps. I don't know. Were these people who died in the first trial? Probably. That might be it. How many people these kidnappers gotta kill till they're satisfied? Nah, now's not the time to get emotional. Uh, okay, I know this. Wait! Roster, roster. The bar on the first floor, Wolf. There was a list of names on the blackboard, meow. I thought you mentioned it. That was a roster, too. But I couldn't possibly recall everyone's name. I memorized it, meow. Huh? Uh. Hand drink was Alice Kai Kazumi Keiji Shinsuke. Yep. That's amazing, Gin. Easier than learning the prefectures of Japan, meow. <laughs> By the way, Big Sis Sarah, your roster is missing the names Kai, Sol, Kugi, Joe, and Na- Wait... That doesn't add up. There's one extra. Kai? Is Kai not supposed to be there? I think Kai is not supposed to be here, actually. Oh! Wait. Is Gashu trying to take revenge for Kai? Because Miley killed Kai? 
So, what did you just say? Huh? That there are four people's names missing. Meow. Kai, So, Kukie, Joe, and Nao aren't listed, so... Huh? That's five, Woof! Huh. I guess I rushed and miscounted. Sorry. Hey, do we need to worry about little mistakes right now? That mistake isn't just a trivial issue. Why did So get it wrong? That's what's important. Gashu, tell us how many participants were dragged into the death game. That would be 20. There are 16 listed on the roster. Plus 5 who aren't listed. Doesn't that add up to 21? One too many. What's that mean, Meow? There were exactly 20 names on the blackboard, Woof. Well then, let's compare the names on the paper roster with those on the blackboard. The blackboard names were like this. Who's not on here? First, the five not listed on the roster are Kai, Sol, Kukie, Joe, and Nao. Wait, is Nao not here? Wait! Wait, what? Oh no, Nao is here. Can't drink. Okay, yeah, yeah. Joe is here. Kugie is here. Soul is here. Kai is here. Let's remove those five. On the first sheet, all four names are present. On the second sheet, I'm. Wait. All four names are here. These are all here too. Kanagin Hinako. Who is Sheen? Wait, who is Sheen? Huh? Shin Tsukimi. That's the only person not on the blackboard, meow. We've derived a 21st person. So who the hell is this? Who is Shin Tsukimi? Is that Gashu? A participant who died unknown. One of us? Is it one of us? Okay, let's calm down. What does that mean exactly? An alias? If someone is using an alias... I see. Shinsukimi... Is one of us! And they rewrote their alias on the blackboard! No way! <laughs> Interesting. If we follow that logic... Shinsukimi has already been identified. Say what?! Sarah, let's work this out. If all the names on the paper roster are real, there's someone whose real name hasn't been revealed. Someone not on the black... No, someone... Someone not on the roster! It's one of the people not on the roster. Kai, Sol, Kugia, Joe, or Nao. Wait... If Alice already killed Soul Hiori, does that mean you're Shin? <laughs> All right, let's discuss those five names. This is my real name. Professor Mishima always called me Miss Nao, remember? I'm using my real name too. It was written there at the prize exchange, right? Kukie is the name of Kanna's sister. If Big Bro Joe was using a fake name, Big Cicero would have figured out right away, meow. Kai's name was on his laptop. Based on the email logs, it should be his real one. Gonna check the roster. 
All right, let's extract. Oh, oh, oh! Get here! What's the matter, KG? Oh, just impressed by how calmly he could lie. <laughs> lie? Sarah, recall the prize exchange. There are no names! The prize exchange. Huh? Remember? There were photos, but no names anywhere. Uh, was that right? I must have had it wrong. So, what exactly are you afraid of? Afraid? Sois? You said you'd tell the truth, right? To defeat Gashu together. We're your allies. Try trusting us, so. No. Shin Tsukimi. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? So, is Shin Tsukimi. I want. I want to trust you all too. But. But I. So. He's trying to say something. In that case, I'll draw it out. Okay, flash warning. Dun dun dun, bum ba dum, bum ba dum. Okay. So, this is the moment to reveal your true self. I... My real name is... Shin Tsukimi! What the fuck?! Why?! Alright, Shin Megami Tensei, why the fuck were you hiding your name? I'll tell you everything. Even the secret of that roster. You know about it, Meow? Yeah. Because that's exactly the same as what I got on my first trial. What did he say? Tell us, what the heck does this thing mean? It's... The victory rates for the participants in the death game. That's why you thought changing your name... Oh... Oh! And there's the weird percentages on the left, right? Those are everyone's chances of surviving the death game to the end. And their odds of winning. <laughs> Dumbass, how would they figure that out? They tested with AIs. Oh, shit. I knew it! Didn't I call this before? Oh, my God. They used AIs to run tests. Right. They ran simulations of innumerable death games, all done entirely digitally. They explained at horrible length to me how accurate this data was. And I saw... my own percentage. Zero percent. Oh my god. Certain death. Is this also why he didn't mind if he died? To save Kanna? Because he thought he was going to die anyway? I absolutely can't survive this death game. That's why I had to abandon myself. I don't want to die. I can't stop shaking. I'm going to be killed. Everyone will vote for me. And kill me. I don't want that. Hey. Hiya! What the fuck? A shadow illuminated by light spoke to me. 
<laughs> Just a random question. But do you know what a majority vote is? He talked to me and cornered me. Okay then, let's go. What the fuck? It hurts. Stop. <laughs> Strength in numbers. You're a helpless sheep who will be eaten by the strong. If you don't want to die, you change. I... I threw Shinskimi away. So... Dear me, what a heart-wrenching tale. The time has expired, everyone. We're out of time? Uh, sorry. It's nearly time for voting. Hold on a sec, our discussion! Did you make any progress? It was all unrelated to my transgression. Revealing the truth of that roster, did that make any progress? That's... Hey, so, you got any more information on this roster? If I did, I wouldn't hide it now! Sarah, is there any other evidence that proves this transgression? There isn't. If that existed, it'd be long since presented. Is it hopeless? Maybe there's... Nothing else we can do. Are you giving up, Sarah? I... Rewrote the blackboard, and also... I destroyed my own monitor in the monitor room. Oh, shit! That wasn't Joe, that was so! I mean, Shane. Fuck. I've told you everything, just like I swore. So please... Save me. Want us an extension, please? <sighs> of course I will. I feel it. So's trust in me. A real bond. Of course I will, so. Sarah! This is our last chance. Doesn't matter what! Find something connected to this transgression. Well, I'll think about it and win, Meow. And no slacking, loner. Yeah, I know. Guys, our discussion's definitely progressing. We unraveled the mystery of this roster. Let's trust that the truth of this transgression lies beyond that answer. This is your final discussion. Use it meaningfully. Fuck. Got it? This roster lists the chances of survival for participants in the death game. You said they determine these chances of victory by running simulations with AIs, right? Is there something about these sheets we're still overlooking? There only being 16 names makes you wonder, right? If so, was an alias. That means there's actually not four listed, right? Kai, Kuge, Joe, and Nao are four not on the roster, meow. Kinda curious how Sarah's chances of victory are the highest, huh? What the fuck? Even I wasn't told any more details than that. I just got a whole lecture on how exact and unmistakable their data was. Can you recall anything else at all? Uh, well, um... Uh, what is it? Now that I think about it, they might have used the word candidates, not participants. Candidates?! Well, not there's... There, that, that, that is a big difference! Candidates for what? If there's a chance the kidnappers were using those terms distinctly, maybe... What if this is like... Uh, inheriting the fucking... Evil company or something? Maybe we can figure out something in common between the 16. This, what the 16 have in common is they can win, right? Established the chances of victory in everyone's real names, but for instance, we haven't touched on them yet, so maybe there's something odd about the occupations. No, I don't think so. Uh. 
So it seemed to believe these were accurate to our chances of victory. What about the chances for the four who aren't listed? Is the reason they're not on there because they're dolls? No, I don't think so. Our AR cells must have killed each other over and over again to produce this data. And then been reset to do it all over again. Could that monitor room have been the place they did the test runs? They're AI, so they'd only have to fight digitally. No reason they would have to need... They would have needed to assemble in that room. I heard there was something unique about the AIs in the monitor room. That they were all candidates who survived the first trial? Hmm? Since we learned the loner's real name, there's no question it's these four, Wolf. But I don't know what they have in common, you know? Something in common? Oh, wait. Hmm. Maybe there's something odd about the occupations. Hmm. The four analysts are a mix of living people, non living people, and something never met. I don't think that really matters. This, this matters. Is it this? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Kinda curious how Sarah's chance- Nope, that doesn't matter. Something odd about the occupations? I don't- Gus, you said that the AI in the monitor were the- Wait, did he say that? Did he say the word candidate? Oh my god, he did! Oh my god, he did! And that's why he inter- Oh my god! This is it! Hang on. What's this about candidates? Are participants and candidates... really the same? The participants. Those are the 20 people who were brought into this death game. Then, what are the candidates the floor master spoke of? Those qualified to win. It's those with qualifications. The right. Those who will fulfill the conditions to be the ultimate winner. And with that in mind, if Gashu, who swears loyalty to the organization, were to make a transgression, he'd try to kill a non-candidate. What if there was one of us who didn't have the right to a victory, a non-candidate? Gashu would try to kill them. That's why he tampered with the sacrifice. I should know it now. Who here is not a candidate? Please select the non-candidate. If you don't have the sacrifice, you don't have the sacrifice, and you don't have the sacrifice. Oh my god, it's you. Why? Wait, why is it you? You're not on here. Now isn't on here. She... She was never here from... Oh my god. Is 
now the person who's not a candidate? Yes, actually. Now. Yes? You have the sacrifice, don't you? Huh? This roster lists the names of candidates who are qualified for victory. Even Shin Tsukimi with a 0% chance to actually win is listed. But now, out of us survivors, your name is the only one missing. And in the monitor room, too. There was no AI of you. No, there didn't exist an now AI to begin with. Because you were an outsider who didn't meet the qualifications to be a candidate. And so Gashu tried to kill you. He sent the sacrifice with its high risk of death to now. This was your transgression, Gashu. the chosen one, okay? It's... over. All the energy's leaving me. A long, long discussion. And at the end, we earned it. Victory. A moment's survival. I'm sorry, everyone. I kept quiet about the sacrifice the whole time. When I thought about what would happen if we weren't able to expose him, I just couldn't say it. Oh. Damn, that is something really f fucking harsh to say, but I almost want to say it. <sighs> Do we be tough here? Please don't be mean to now. I don't want to, but... It's not her fault. It, it's really not her fault, actually. It's, it's not your fault. And it's not your fault now. Well, the fault lies with Gashu. Answer me, Gashu. Candidates, this death game. What's all of it mean? I will say but one thing. Everyone, have you ever harbored doubts about your upbringing? <laughs> that is my first and last hint for you, upbringing. Does one of us have fake memories? You know what this reminds me of? I don't I don't know if you guys know this game. Have you guys Oh, this is also spoilers for a different game, I guess, so spoiler warning, but Have you guys ever played Chaos Head or Chaos Head Noah? I won't say too much, but if you have, do you guys remember what happened to the mom? If you guys remember what happened to the mom, I think that might be what happened here. Oh my god, that thing. Yeah, okay, so at least you guys won't get spoiled, but... I feel like, I feel like I know what that hint is. I feel like I know what the hint is, is trying to tell us, actually. I want to hear it. Okay. Um, 
I think what Gashu's hint is trying to say is that one of us has actually been raised by the organization this whole time. And we have quote-unquote fake memories from our whole upbringing. And I think it's Sarah. <laughs> I, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Last. Miss Sarah Chidolin. You have overlooked something important about the Floor Master's code. About the code? It's written clearly. If there is a misconduct during the main game, it either proceeds with the transgressor's death or must be retired. Oh. Gashu's going to die. Oh no, now? Wait, wait, no way! Huh? And I promised you that I would fulfill my duty as per the code. Wait! Wait, what?! You fucking bitch! If I take responsibility on my life, then the main game shall continue. You're kidding! Stop! Everyone, please earn victory. Holy fuck! No way! This is... He offed himself! Gashu! Oh my god! This is impossible! It should be over! Why? Why is this? He was going to do this from the start! Why? For just one day- for just a day's extension! We hung on stubbornly and put our lives on the line! And yet, Gashu casually threw away his life! He easily shot down our hope! Who could be capable of such a thing? He's a demon. A demon! They shouldn't have... Saffalin! Please! It's an emergency, right? Suspend the main game! I can't do that. I can only act as a substitute. No! You're really going to continue? This is... All within the rules! If I refuse, everyone will die! This isn't right. This isn't right at all! I'm begging you. It doesn't have to be 24 hours. At least let us retry! I'm sorry. I'll do anything! Anything, just please! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my god, now is the sacrifice. No one will vote for her. And we need to choose two. One of the commoners. So or Kanna. Oh my god. Oh. Dude, I just started liking both of them. Fuck. I literally just started liking both of them. Now 
follows the sacrifice. I'm the key master. We can only vote for Sol or Kanna. I guess it's clear who you'll vote for. Everyone, um, won't you vote for Kanna? <sighs> Don't fucking do this. I'm tired. As much as I contribute, everyone's going to choose me, right? What are you? Please. Vote for Kanna. What are you saying, Kanna? I'm sure you understand. Between So and Kanna, which one of us isn't necessary? Stupid, don't say that! Kanna already intended to die from the moment she tried to take a trade for Sarah's sacrifice. Please. And this is about the only thing Kanna can do. Change. I want you to believe in Sol. Because he's really... not a bad person. Why can't I say anything? Kanna's throwing her life away to protect Sol. Am I just going to watch in silence? Kanna. Don't be ridiculous, Kanna! So... Self-sacrifice? That's worthless! You really are a kid, Kanna. A thoughtless kid with a backwards notion that if she dies, it'll solve everything! My feelings won't change. Be quiet, Kanna! Guys, we have our conclusion! Hurry up and vote! Sarah, you hated me from deep down, right? Aren't I awful? You won't get another chance like this! Kanna doesn't have any wisdom. And can't even hack. I told you to shut up, Kanna! Please remember the first main game. We all chose Kai as the victim. For our survival. We didn't choose by feelings, but logic. But wasn't that a mistake? Real failure is wavering. Not trusting your beliefs is weakness. Stop it. And this time, the right thing to do is to choose logic so that you can escape. You should choose Kanna. Just stop it. It's time to vote. I cannot wait any longer. Touch your voting tablets. Or everyone will die. <sighs> Got it. Mr. Policeman? Just voted for Kanna. KG! Thank you very much. This ain't a joke! I'm ashamed of you, KG! Sacrificing the kid for the sake of adults. That's a demonic choice you just can't make! I'm voting for Soul. You're right, Kutaro. 
I don't think Cotton has a burden at all. My vote is for Soul. <laughs> Fine by me. Now if we just vote ourselves, that's three to two. Again, it should be an easy choice for you too, right? I... I... I do hate the loner. But it's not like I want him to die. <laughs> Dumbass! If you don't choose me, I'll use you next and get you killed! Save Gin or suggest a way out. You don't have to take responsibility, Gin. Thanks, Sarah. If you vote for Kanna, it'll be tied three to three. Your vote won't cause anyone to die. But, but then, thanks to Sarah, your vote will. That's okay, Gin. I'll take responsibility. I voted for the bucket girl, Meow. Now, it's just me. My vote will decide everything. It'll decide it all. <laughs> We did it, Sarah. No? Do you remember the conditions for the sacrifice to win? The sacrifice wins, even if it's a tie for first. Now, Sol has three votes. Kanna has three votes. Oh my god! If we vote for now, and she has two votes! Holy shit! And as the sacrifice, I can vote for myself twice. If you vote for me, that's three votes for everyone. I can win by a tie for first. Say what? Let's return home together, Sarah. Thanks to Sarah. You won't do that, right? I want, I want to dedicate my choice, like, I want to, whatever vote I choose, I want to, I want to stick with it. think oh, I originally wanted to pick Kanna but if we pick Kanna, I feel like So or Shin is actually like going to hate our guts. If we pick Shin, realistically, what is Kanna going to do?
if Soul does end up hating us, well, the thing is, right? The thing is that Soul never could trust us. That's the thing. I I think, I actually think, if we pick Kanna, Soul will go back to never being able to trust anyone. I so realistically no matter what, has a 0% chance to survive. And... I think... I think... What do I think? What do I think? What do I think? <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I think... Fuck, dude. I'm still, like, thinking about... How is this going to affect everything? Because there's also the off chance, right? Well, no, for sure he's not going to trust anyone if we pick Kanna. I think... I think I think I have to I think I should do this. <sighs> I I think this is what we do. Fuck. I don't want to, but I think <laughs> I think this is what we do. <sighs> All votes have been received. <laughs> <laughs> That's just fine, Sarah. You hated me enough to kill me. Isn't that right? That's true. I did want to kill you. That's why you weren't mistaken at all. <laughs> Announce the results. The key master was Keiji Shinogi. The sage was Kyutaro Burgerberg. The sacrifice was now Ekokoro. I see. So this is your answer, Sarah. Now. It's strange. 
I couldn't stop shaking from fear. Oh shit! That, oh fuck! I forgot Nao's going to die too! Oh fuck! No! I forgot! I forgot the sacrifice dies too! Shit! Oh man. The moment you decided. That stopped. I'm glad. I'm glad I didn't have to betray you all. Now. Echo. I'm glad I could meet you. I should be saying that. If you weren't around now, I'd... Thank you. Now. <laughs> I wonder if I'll meet the professor over there. to finish that painting. Well then, it's time for the execution. Wait! Miss Sarah, take this. Not another fucking button, please. Again?! <sighs> Why? Why do you make me do this? An instant death switch. Unless you want her suffering to be long, you just have to press it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Make it quick. What the fuck? Why can't I press it? Why can't I press it? Why? Why can't I press it? What the fuck? I, I literally, I can't press it. I can't press it! Press the fucking switch! Why? Oh my god! So, Sarah couldn't press the switch? Professor, I'm sorry. The present I was going to give you, I still couldn't finish it. That's all right. You'll have plenty of time now. Yes. I couldn't push the button to the very end. Nao said she didn't want to die. There was no way I could push it. Once again, I couldn't protect them. They died again. Next is Sol. Wait! Stop it already, please, Zaphelin! Please move aside. I need to activate the device. Don't kill Sol! Don't kill our ally, please! Ally. <laughs> worthless. So worthless. You don't have any last words, do you? Begin the execute. I'm not gonna die. What the fuck? What? Huh? Oh! 
Oh, shit! What? What the fuck? You think I'll let you do what you want? Your collar? What? Thanks, it's that way, huh? It's futile! This facility has a defense system! So until the very end, he really tried his best. Fuck. Got weapons like this too. <laughs> no dice after all. It's pathetic. After all I did. Maybe I should have believed in everyone. Sarah, there's actually just one wrong thing in your reasoning, and I'll tell you what it is. My final present. Where did so go? Wait, he ran back? Wait, he ran out of the fucking... out of the... the room? My feet moved as if guided by something. Some sort of premonition is calling me. So... So's body is limp. No. You can't! Even after you got your collar off? You said you wouldn't let the kidnappers do what they wanted, right? Please. Please respond. I keep shaking him, but he isn't moving a muscle. He's not breathing. No. Soul has already... expired. Even... Soul. Everyone just keeps dying. Whatever I do, as much as I struggle, it was all meaningless. I'm powerless. I can't stand up anymore. What? I hear a noise from the monitor. Why is this on, I wonder? No, that doesn't matter. I don't want to think anymore. Nothing is going to change now. My actions can't affect anything. Everyone is dying. Just like Soul here. Something's off. Why is Soul in this position? Tell me Sol was trying to use this machine? Looking closely at the keyboard by his hands, there were bloodstains from him using it. Did Sol turn on this monitor? But for what? I looked at the monitor. You son of a bitch. Oh, my God. <sighs> <sighs> yeah.
Is this some kind of joke again? There was a familiar face. The face of my best friend, who I always saw at school. Joe. Is that Sarah? What's going on with me? Inconceivable. It's another hallucination. I've finally broken down. Because there shouldn't be an AI of Joe. That doesn't matter to me right now. Joe? Is that you, Joe? Huh? Yeah. I... I... this what do I what I'm so confused uh, I was what Sarah what are you crying for I I couldn't do anything I killed you even though you were my best friend. Sarah? But... But still... I vowed to everyone that we would escape together. And yet... They've kept dying. Professor Mishima... And Kai... And Alice... And now... And so... I can't protect anyone. I can't save anyone. I can't do anything. My heart has buckled under. Get a hold of yourself, Sarah. Joe. When did you become such a whiner? I... I mean... Those tears don't suit you, Sarah. Why? You're so cold, Joe. We were hanging out all the time before we even knew it, huh? Having stupid talks on summer break. Buying junk food after school. Getting Yoko laughing at us. And when my grades tanked, you were freaking out, Sarah. Never asked to go studying. Oh, and I remember all those dumb requests you made me sing in karaoke. I sing with all I had, so you were cracking up. Every day was super fun, man. And when the bad stuff happened and it wasn't fun, and you were there talking to me. <laughs> Sarah. I feel nothing but... Gratitude for you. Gratitude. 
attitude. I don't know about all this betrayal. Or dying. Don't have any... Memory of that part. But I know this. You'll always make choices I can trust, Sarah. Thinking I hated you or something? Don't put me down, Sarah. I'm not that self-righteous a guy. <laughs> so don't cry anymore, Sarah. I'll always follow you. You know, like a dog. <sighs> That's right. Guess I should say, uh. Well, it's hard for a guy and don't say it again. Fuck, don't fucking say it again. It's hard for a guy and a girl to say this sort of stuff to each other, but... I love you, Sarah. You're my best friend. wanted to say that too. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> You're my best friend. <laughs> I won't cry anymore. I won't lose. Please, always watch me from close by. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you, Joe. And also, so. Was always clinging to me. The false hallucination I created. But now, I won't look at it anymore. I'll move forward. And I'll end this death game. Listen to me, everyone. 
We aren't going to kill each other anymore. They won't make us do that. Ever again. I'm going to end the death game. <laughs> I'm on board. No matter how tricky our opponent. I'm gonna fight too. Yeah, that's right. I'll avenge now and Alice. I don't want anyone to die either. I'll make them learn so is regret. Yeah. I won't submit anymore. Everyone is prepared. We won't lose our way. Let's claim our future. to die chapter two <laughs> and <sighs> who the fuck oh my god that's my dad this has to be Sarah's dad You're doing well, Sarah. You're... Oh my god. I knew it. Your father's glad you've survived. Now... Let's begin, shall we? Final death game. To be continued. <laughs> In the final chapter. Oh, God. Hey there. Can you hear me? Yes. Good. Glad you responded. I'd like to know soon about that death game you were involved in. It's not anything too difficult, is it? I'm begging you. Is this just a recap? If it's actually just a recap, I don't need this. Just leave? It's not? It's the next... Oh, it is a recap. You should watch it. Try to retrace. I'm I'm not really interested in a recap, to be honest. You actually need the recap to advance? Oh, shit, really? If you leave, it'll go to the title. Oh. Oh, shit, okay. We can do it next time? Yeah, you know what? I think, I think this is good to do next time. Got it, some other time. Contact me whenever you want to talk. Okay. 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 Man. Man, man, man. God. Wow. Wow. I feel tired. Why do I fucking feel tired? Oh my god. Wow. All right, we're gonna we're gonna switch over to the other screen. <sighs> wow. <sighs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm, uh... I'm gonna order some food. <sighs> Give me a second. I'm, I'm pretty hungry. I'm gonna order some food. <sighs> I also need to get a drink. Yeah, get a drink, guys, if you need to. Get a drink. Get something to eat if you need to. This is a game made by one dude for free. That's insane. I I can't believe that. The story writing is insane. Does he do the art too? I can't believe it. He actually does the art too, and the BGM. Does he do actually everything? Alley Cat, thank you for the super chat. Nanki Dai. Nanki Dai. Honto ni kami ge tsukutta ne. Yabai. He really made a fucking amazing game. Hitori demo sugoi. Hitori demo honto ni sugoi. Fucking crazy, man. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna order something really quick. You know what? It's been like a week or two weeks since I've had Taco Bell. Why don't I get some fucking Taco Bell, man? <laughs> Why not? <sighs> God, my hands are shaking. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Matanakiso. I feel like I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. The emotional damage is actually real. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. <sighs> That's actually crazy. Whoo! I've never had a game make me this emotional. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Hold on. Let me order my food really quick. That's crazy. Fuck. touched my heart <laughs> a lot <laughs> I hope <sighs> I really hope one day <laughs> this game gets an anime or something I think out of all like <sighs> visual novels I've played so far I really think this one deserves it. And God, I hope one day the production team that picks it up doesn't fuck this, doesn't fuck it up. I really hope they stick one by one to the whole thing. Because man, trying to rush it or put it into like, like, like jam it into like a few episodes is such a fucking crime. It has a manga, I know, but I, I, I really do think this deserves some kind of anime adaptation. Fuck. I really, really hope this deserves a proper stuck to the visual novel adaptation. 
if this was like if this was like an indiegogo or something oh man i would hop on that so fast <sighs> fuck what a ride what a stream <laughs> yeah if i see if i see these joe parts animated dude <laughs> I'm gonna bowl my eyes out. I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna lose it. I'm actually I'll lose it. I will fucking lose it. I will be so Jover. God. I think everyone's streaming this game. Would you recommend it to people? Yes. This is one of the best visual novels I've ever played in my life. Yes. Wow. Yeah, I would. And God, I've played a lot of visual novels, so yeah. Fuck. Okay. <sighs> anyway, this is the part of the stream where I catch up on super chats, donations, and memberships. To those of you that are new, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. To those of you that are returning, thank you for spending more time with me. And thank you everyone that's been on the on the path through did you order your food? I did. That's been on the path through just playing this game. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> wow. <sighs> this is really the first time a game has really Shaking me this much. Wow. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Whew. That's crazy. Alright. Let me catch up with Super Chats. Whew. Let me get another drink, too. Parasol Otsu, thank you for the stream. Your turn to tie already makes me so emotional. And hearing you cry also made me almost cry on the train to work. <laughs> Good luck at work today, Parasol. I'm cheering you on. Good luck. Stay hydrated. Yeah, if you guys have been crying too, definitely, definitely get a drink too. Okay. Next is Mikekun. Mikekun says, "Also, also, Alban, so stay happy two years anniversary." Um, Shinkyoku no break free mo goods mo sugoku yokatte yo. Haruban ga design shita goods mo dochi mo steki datta. Goods to issho ni deki. でかけるのが楽しみ。そして、ついにノックティクスの虹縫いが出たね。そうだね。これでアルバンをギュって吐くしたり、ペロペロしたりできるよ。これからもノックティクスとアルバンのことを全力で応援してるよ。今日も配信
Yuling, also Alvin, I can't count how many times I said what during the stream. Ah, me too! I love this game and I can't stop crying. Oh my god. It's okay, we cried together. Here's some tissue for you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. <sighs> Miss Investigator, what's up, Alvin? It was amazing and sad for this game. Thank you for bringing the game through for us. It hurts so hard. Yeah, it really did. By the way, congrats on two-year anniversary and new song. And the merch is so good. Broke free on my wallet. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, big love for you. Big, 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 big love for you, Miss Investigator. Really. Thank you so much for everything. I really, really, really cannot say thank you enough. Thank you. Demi! Demi, 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 Demi. Demi. Thank you. Really, thank you so much. It's more arigato. Ducha,mo, honto ni, honto ni, kokoro kara arigato. Ducha, it's more arigato. Thank you. <laughs> Mota, Nambi, thank you for the sticker. Mota says, Otsu, the author of this game, is too talented to make us cry. But I'm glad Sarah remembered the real Joe. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. Rest well, Tencho, and let me say again, happy second anniversary. Truly, today was an amazing day. It really was. It really, really was. Thank you, Mota. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mara, final chapter, especially the second part, is super good. The final chapter, second part, is probably the best in the game so far. Thank you for the stream. Fuck, am I going to cry more? Am I really, am I going to cry more? Oh, please, no. Mara, thank you for the super chat. Kami, going to also a bit early because I have errands to run, but thank you so much for playing this game. Happy two years. You deserve all the love. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Kami. Good luck with your errands. Lumiere says, GG Albin, I haven't been keeping up with your playthrough, but man, your voice acting on that scene moved me to tears. <laughs> I wasn't acting! I wasn't acting! I was so in character. It felt like, it felt like I was actually Sarah, dude. Fuck. Oh my god. That wasn't acting. Like... Fuck. <laughs> it was crazy. I, I put myself in Sarah's shoes. <sighs> I had, oh man. Whew. Fuck. But thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the super chat. <sighs> Whew. Annie! You did amazing on the playthrough, Albi. I'm glad we got to share these emotions and cry together. Thank you so much for playing it also. Thank you for being here. Thank you for always, always, always supporting Annie. I really appreciate you. Thank you. And I'm glad you've been enjoying it. Thank you. None! I love Joe Tasuna. I never forgot him. Me too. Thank you for the stream. You've truly made my day productive. Also, happy second anniversary. The new song was incredible too. The melody of the, and the guitar sound are amazing, and I love the lyrics too. I especially love the I gotta live, not just survive. Yeah, exactly. I feel like you guys are pushing me forward, making me believe I can overcome anything. And you can! You can. Not just you, but everyone. Everyone can. Everyone can live, not just survive. If you feel like... That's the main point of our song, right? If you feel like you're just surviving. You can do things for yourself to make it worthwhile to live, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, I think I think so. That's what we all thought when we wrote those lyrics. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy to have made it to this day and to be able to celebrate it with you. Thank you for inspiring me a lot. I'm proud to support you and I will continue to do so proudly. You'll always be my Kamihoshi. <laughs> Thank you, 
Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Final thoughts on Soul Hiori? I don't have any thoughts on Soul Hiori. But I know Shin was a really, really good character. Fuck. <sighs> man. Man, man, man. Nembi! Oh my god, Nembi, thank you so much for the rainbow super chat, Nembi! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Thank you so, 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 so much! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you very, 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 very much. Whew. Thank you. Yes, thank you for all the rainbows in chat for Nenby. Thank you. Oh, man. My heart hurts, man. Fuck, my heart hurts. I can't wait to play more. I really can't. I can't wait to play more of this game. Yuka! Yuka says, Also, Alvin, happy two year anniversary. Noctix! Nya nya nya. Shinkyoku, kako yokte, zutto, repeat, repeat, arigato, thank you. Merch mo, um, Alvin no nijinui ga yatto tetta, ureshi! Thank you for all your hard work. So proud of you. I'm very happy to support you as Takaradachi. Big, big love. Thank you, Yuka. Big, 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 big love. Thank you. <sighs> Man. Vivian! Otsuaben, I'm so happy to be able to join you experiencing this amazing game. I hope we can see it to the end. And again, congrats on Noctix two years and the amazing new song. Thank you, Vivian. Thank you very, very, very much. Um, Castella. Castella, I love you. I will always support you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Megu! Happy Noctix Day! I can't stop listening to Break Free! Oh, thank you. Oh my god. Noctix's strong feeling was coming out of the song. It was very good. My heart is full of love for you and for Noctix and you. Big love and big hug to our little Meow Meow. Thank you, Megu. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Big, big, big love. Thank you. G. G says, Otsu. Kyo mo haishi arigato. Hontoni. By the way, happy second year anniversary! Break free, ありがとう。本当にその言葉。What do I say? I don't know what to say. Like, you guys are my treasure. Treasure. 
いつもいっぱいの愛をくれて本当にありがとうこちらこそそれは僕のセリフ<笑>こちらこそありがとうみんな<笑> Big Big love forever G Thank you Thank you thank you thank you Magical Gunner, happy second anniversary, Tencho. I really like Break Free Song. Such a banger. Thank you for streaming this emotional, amazing game. Nade nade. Thank you, Magical Gunner. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here and enjoying it. <sighs> Wait, is my food already almost here? Holy shit, my food is already almost here. Holy fuck, it'll be here in like two minutes. That's crazy. What? Um. Marakasu! Otsu Arban, thank you. Otsu. Thank. Happy second anniversary to Noctix. The new song has already been played 150,000 times. That's crazy. Not only Albin's part, but the entire song is perfectly very cool. It's in heavy rotation. Thank you. Arigato. Thank you. Tane! Arigato, thank you. Spatch, arigato. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, there's not many super chats I gotta ca catch up on, so this is okay. I can catch up and go get my food. Oh, well, I can just stream lives too. Aeri says, Otsu, Konkai wa taksan nai chatta yo. Namida de kusha kusha da yo. Minna honto ni suvarashi kiara de. Minna. Shihanaide,欲しかった。僕も。今日はみんなで抱きしめ会いながら寝よう。水飲んで目を冷やしてね。Big <笑> love, ありがとう。Big, big, big love. ありがとう、アイビー。ミオ、ミオさん。配信オッツ。Noctix, happy second anniversary. I remember that you posted a video on your Twitter account during Noctis' first month anniversary. I can't put it into words well. Thank you for always making fans happy. Thank you for choosing this path. I'm so glad I met you. I can say the same thing. I am so, so, so glad to be here. I am as thankful to be... I am as thankful as you guys are for me to be in your life? Wait. I am just as thankful to be in your guys' life the same way... No. I am just as thankful that you guys are in my life the same way that I'm in yours. Yes, that's what I wanted to say. Sorry, I had it backwards like three times. Thank you, Mio-san. Arigato. Thank you. Parasol, happy second anniversary. I still remember seeing Noctix's announcement on Twitter and wondering what these new boys would bring. I'm so glad I stayed for along for the ride. Break free was so uplifting. Thank you for your hard work. Thank you. Thank you for the support. Yo, go! I hate my eyes will be swollen tomorrow as my tears can't stop. I cried so hard. Me too! My eyes! <laughs> thank you for today's stream, Tencho Otsu. Thank you, Yo, go! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Annie! I'm grateful to be your friend as well. I'll be happy second anniversary. Noctix! Your song was insanely good. I love you so much. Big love. Seriously, seriously, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, well, Joseph. Hey, who am I? Arigato. <clears throat> Yuling, once again, happy second anniversary. Thank you for bringing so much into my life. Thank you for being here with us. Big love and nare nare. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Now, I cried a lot today and it was really fun, especially when Joe came out. I was crying so hard I couldn't breathe. My heart really hurts. I love your turn to die now. Thank you for playing. Thank you for today. Rest well and big love. Thank you for being here now. Thank you for watching. Lunar, thank you for the stream, Albin. The story and your voice acting were enough to make me emotional and cry. Stay hydrated and rest well. Thank you, Lunar. Tay, happy second anniversary. Thank you so much for being here and working so hard. 
I couldn't watch the stream today, so I'll check the VOD later. Well, it's rest well, Alvin. Thank you, Tay. Thank you very, very, very much. All right, let me check my stream labs. Whew, my heart, my heart, my heart. Alicia, oh my God, the NBA is so addicting. Once you start, you never stop. Oh, for break free. But I was so happy and almost cried when I heard the new song. I bought all the merch and I'm so excited for them. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. QQ. Live, not just survive. This sentence will become my motto. It's a good motto. Your singing gives me a lot of strength. <laughs> Thank you, QQ. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Kake. Thank you very, very much for the donation. Uh... Susuri, Shinkyoku, Saiko deshita, Ariata, thank you. Hi, Neko. It was such a serious game, but thank you for the fun stream, Tencho. Today's Neko no Heat, so I want to hear your meow voice. Can you give me meow voice? I always talk in meow voice. <laughs> thank you for the donation. Supu, Otsu Tencho, emotional damage again. My eyes peed again, same. It has a lot of branches, and at that time, if you chose now or Kanna, you'll have a corresponding ending too. But this branch line is my favorite. It's so touching. Yeah, it fucked me up, man. Thank you, Super. Pepitoni! Also, Pepitoni, I saw your other donation from. I think it was last stream. Thank you for that, too. Here's your food and therapy fun. <laughs> Thank you. I am not Thai Jilvu out here just by watching you. Such an amazingly devastating game. 10 out of 10, we'll never play it, but wishing my enemy to play it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Lunar. Lunar says... Um... Arivanian. 2 point will... To Neko Mimi nante saiko ni kawaii yo. Arivanian. Arivanian wa itsu mo kawaii, kawaii katta kedo. Shinkyoku hajimete kiita toki. なぜか泣いちゃった。曲もめっちゃ良かったし、エンビもアルバムもすごくかっこよくて、目が離せなかった。ありがとう。アルバムの歌本当に本当に大好き。縫いとお出かけしていっぱい写真撮るのも楽し
それじゃあまたね<笑>バイバイ。